Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 5 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. It is breaking news from overnight. Two people are in the hospital following a shooting in a Murray parking lot. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera joins us live with details. Eric? Amanda, according to Chris Reardon with Murray PD, the incident occurred around 1044 last night at an EOS parking lot. There were two victims, one male and one female, that were taken to Intermountain Medical Center in critical but stable condition. A witness who was leaving the gym spoke with KSL TV. When I came out, she was laying on the ground and she'd obviously been super wounded. The only thing that we were hearing was that we didn't know where the shooter was. And some people had thought they ran in, some people thought they ran out. Only other details released by police about what happened is that it was a shootout between multiple people. It's unknown whether the victims hit were involved and the investigation is ongoing. Reporting live, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. A few people in Salt Lake City are being asked to remove their artificial turf or face serious fines. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has that story. Troy Villopondo is angry that a civil enforcement officer is asking him and one of his neighbors to rip out their turf by April 25th, especially when other places in the city have artificial grass. While they aren't in charge of enforcement, the city's public utilities department says turf might not be as good for the environment as people think. They say it contains chemicals and microplastics that run off into the water when we have rain. The city code says turf shouldn't cover more than 35% of someone's yard. Utah's Olympic Committee has selected 13 possible locations for the 2034 Winter Games events. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with more. Peter? Amanda, future baseball stadium could be hosting the big air competitions and medal ceremonies, while Snow Basin could get carved up with slalom skiers. There are a few. These are a few of the, pl- the pins that Olympics officials have put on the tentative map for the 2034 Games, according to the Deseret News. International Olympic Committee members will be touching down in Utah on Tuesday to tour these and other venues. And a concept map for the games shows a major cluster of events will happen in Salt Lake City, while the farther events will take place in Ogden, Provo, and Park City. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Shop owners like Linda Clark tells KSL TV they're really excited at the thought of hosting the games. Having the Olympics here is going to do nothing but good for Salt Lake City and actually the whole state of Utah. You can't kind of feel the spirit in the air, can't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Clark says hosting the games would be a real novelty. So what would be across the street then, Tim? Is They're that... talking about big air competition, which became an Olympic sport in 2018. Wow. Uh, because the uh, launch for the big air is actually a, a scaffolding, you know, setup that's So they mobile. can build it, right? So the they can put lot. it across the street. Wow. KSL's top national stories. Now, U.S. officials are ringing the warning bells on the escalation of tension in the Middle East. ABC's Christian Cordero has more. Iran's Supreme Leader warning, with God's help, we will make the Zionists repent of their crime of aggression against the Iranian consulate in Damascus. The top U.S. Air Force official in the Middle East is sharing growing concerns about tensions in the region, saying the war in Gaza is a destabilizing effect and it allows malign actors like the Iranians to take advantage of that situation. Iran vows to retaliate against Israel's deadly strike on their consulate in Syria earlier this week. New numbers this morning from Taiwan. Ten people now have been killed, more than 1,000 injured following that big quake. ABC's Joyce Wong is in Taipei on what else has been affected. Yesterday's earthquake also caused several of Taiwan's chipmakers, including TSMC, the world's largest, to suspend their operation. TSMC said that after the quake hit early Wednesday morning, it rushed to evacuate employees in some of its facilities at the Science Park in Xinzhou of northern Taiwan to ensure their safety. Joyce Wong, ABC News. Taipei, Taiwan. A group of high schoolers who were in Taiwan when the earthquake hit shared their experience with KSL TV. Junior Zachary Barris says the group were in the hardest hit area only days before. I can't imagine you're sitting here enjoying it. You know, it could have been us, could have been anybody. It was a spring break trip the group will never forget. First look traffic, Andy Farnsworth is in the traffic center this morning. Andy? Well, so far, close to Salt Lake, no issues on I-15 or on the uh, main city streets. A little bit heavy going south on Mountain View uh, through West Valley. It looks like it's pretty windy in Tooele County. I'm watching light poles and uh, cameras shaking uh, going along SR 36 between Tooele and Lake Point. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A dairy worker in Texas is believed to have been infected by livestock infected with bird flu. 
Sony Salzman with ABC's medical unit says the risk to the general population remains low. It can be highly contagious. It evolves rapidly, just like our flu that circulates in our populations. There have been some instances of people getting infected with bird flu, but typically it's people who work with poultry, work with animals. The illness can spread quickly in flocks and herds of animals. The patient at the center of a pioneering transplant operation is heading home from Mass General Hospital. Rick Slayman, the first living person to receive a genetically edited pig kidney, is beginning his new life. After nearly three weeks of recovery, the 62-year-old is thanking his doctors and nurses, saying, This moment, leaving the hospital today with one of the cleanest bills of health I've had in a long time, is one I wished would come for many years. Now it's a reality. Isn't that something? That is amazing. ABC's Lionel Moise reporting there. We'll go in depth, by the way, on this in about 10 minutes. The Taylorsville Police Department can truly say they've got the top dogs. Three handlers and their canine partners recently returned from a competition in Las Vegas. They set up building search scenarios for both humans and narcotics, and then area searches for humans and vehicle drug sniffers. Taylorsville Canine Sergeant Jacob Palmer says after the two-day event, they came home with the competition's top agency award. We're competing against teams from California and Nevada that had four to six different dog teams working. He says the award goes to the agency whose canine teams have the highest overall scores in all categories. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. I just saw the video of this. It was frightening. Uh, another pair of dogs got themselves into some trouble. Police had to escort two lost huskies off of I-15. Mm. We're just hearing about the incident that happened last month. Troopers had to block off traffic near Pleasant Grove Boulevard on uh, March 17th around 9 o'clock at night as the two dogs were playing a game of runaway. Uh, police were able to corner the dogs near a gated area and return the dogs to their owner. I, I almost caused a terrible accident years ago because a dog ran out on I-15 and I slammed on my brakes. The guy behind me went sideways trying Eesh. to not hit. It was it was terrifying. And there, the, all the traffic wound up stopping, but the dog just ran off from the shoulder. I don't know where he came from, mm. but isn't that a scary thing? It really is. I know, you know officers will say... What you should do is hit the animal because otherwise you're going to cause it. But no, none of us can. No, that's and we wouldn't. Our, instinctively, our instinctive, you stop. exactly. Yeah. Well, we have a good drive this morning along the Wasatch Front. We'll check it just ahead on KSL News Radio. Join your friends who rely on KSL each morning for the fastest routes to work and school. Uh, I like traffic on the nines. So I need to get the kids up earlier so that my son isn't driving quickly in a snowstorm. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. Who doesn't love pizza, cold beer, and something sweet for dessert? Unfortunately, your liver doesn't. Liver stress can cause low energy, restless sleep, and an expanding waistline. Protect your liver and get a daily detox with Active Liver from New Nordic. Available in tablet or delicious gummy, Active Liver's high-quality ingredients, like milk thistle and turmeric extracts, are proven to keep your liver healthy and you feeling your best. Find Active Liver online at Amazon, Walmart.com, or NewNordicUSA.com, or in stores at your local CVS. When you're high, you feel different. You think different, you talk different, you draw different, you listen to music different, but you probably knew that. Problem is, you also drive different, and not in a good way. That's why driving high is illegal everywhere. So if you're high, just don't drive. Make a plan to get a sober ride. Because if you feel different, you drive different. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Thanks for waking up with us here this morning. A couple of people in the hospital. We had another shooting, this time in Murray. Uh, Eric Cabrera is following up on that story. I think he's going to be headed out to the scene, and we'll have reports for you throughout the morning. It's 5.09. Time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Good morning, Mr. Farnsworth. Good morning, Tim. If you're on I-15, it's a great start in Salt Lake County. The closest thing to some slowing is some slow-moving traffic going south on Mountain View through West Valley towards West Jordan. But the northbound drive towards 201, that's just fine on the west side. SR-36 in Tooele County, pretty windy. I'm seeing traffic slowing a little bit in Stansbury Park uh, near the SR-138 turnoff. Heather? No problems right now in Weburn Davis County. We've got a good commute on I-15 US-89 Legacy Parkway. Also no delay getting into Hill Air Force Base at any of the gates right now.
Eric. And looking solid in Utah County right now. No problems northbound from Provo to Point of the Mountain. It's a 20-minute drive. You're getting on University Avenue. Heading into the mountains, I-80 looks pretty good. We got a little bit of westbound slowing up over the top of Parley Summit, uh, but otherwise the eastbound side looks just fine going out to Park City. Find out more about how your kitchen or bath can be the kitchen or bath of your dreams in just three days. Just visit 3daykitchen.com. That's 3daykitchen.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. As our weekend storm punches into the west coast that puts us under southerly flow bumping the temperatures to 73 mostly sunny breezy out of the south overnight only 50 degrees is what we did a 58 tomorrow with a chance for showers from the ksl weather center i'm matt johnson look at this we're waking up to almost 60 degrees this morning downtown <laughs> that's fun it's 57 this hour how do they genetically modify a kidney in a pig beyond me so that a human recipient won't reject it is that just fascinating yeah Uh, and they've tried this i think with hearts haven't they in the past pig hearts and and they didn't work out Uh, so time is going to tell on these yeah we're going to talk to jim ryan about that just ahead on ksl news radio stay with us and remember to always uh, look for a streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for ksl news radio utah's news traffic and weather station Genevic. One person described it like this. I like having a thousand one minute conversations. So often we think we've got to dive in head first and know everything before we can speak on something. No, we can have a bunch of little conversations. There's more than one opinion and more than one opinion or viewpoint matters. I want our listeners to walk away from the show knowing that more than one opinion is valid. Listen for Dave and Dejanovic 9 to noon on KSL News Radio. The Salt Lake Chamber is Utah's voice for business. Okay, that sounds great, but what does it really mean? Well, as Utah's largest and longest standing business association, they support and champion community prosperity throughout the state. And if you're in business, well, that's a very good thing for you. Be sure to listen to the Chamber's Speaking on Business, weekdays at 720, 1155, and 520 p.m. on KSL News Radio. Hi, Grandma. What's for dinner? Hey, honey, I'm making stew tonight. Ooh, can Nina come over? I'm not sure about our new friend. I wonder if there's been any drinking going on. Alcohol at her age can lead to so many bad things. I've been meaning to ask you, what would happen if someone offered you a drink? Grandma! This is hard. She's so young. But I know I need to talk to her about it now before someone tries to give her alcohol. If anyone ever does offer you a drink, I want you to say no. I have too much respect for my family, and I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Really? I promise, Grandma. I love you, too. Okay, how about tasting the stew and telling me what you think? Mmm. Some children may try alcohol as young as nine years old. It's not too early to talk about drinking. For tips on how to begin the conversation, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. That's underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. This message brought to you by SAMHSA and this station. Dave and Debbie. I want our listeners to feel like they have an advocate, that they have somebody that's going to fight for them, challenge the status quo or the pithy soundbite. We have a unique job where we have access to interviews and people that not everyone has. We take that seriously. So if we do feel like we're getting a spin, then we can challenge it. I love it when people tell me, I was just thinking about that question that you asked. I'm glad you asked that question. That's like the height of confidence. I want our listeners to feel empowered to use the information that they've learned on the David Dujanovic show to help their families, to help make good decisions, help investigate other avenues to maybe protect their family's safety or protect their family's money. I'm hopeful our show leaves our listeners with a sense of empowerment so they can make the best decision possible for themselves and for their families. Listen for David Dujanovic 9 to noon on KSL News Radio. Good morning, KSL News Time 515. The three things you need to know this hour. First, state Olympics officials have named 13 spots across Utah for Winter Games events in 2034. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johns. Second, two people are in the hospital after an overnight shooting in Murray. Third, a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. So far, so good, at least along the I-15 corridor. Some heavy traffic on Mountain View this morning going south through West Valley. 
But uh, for the most part, it's early and not a lot of people are up and about yet. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Winds kick up out of the south from an approaching storm. I'm Matt Johnson. And right now, 57 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And a look at our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Brian Clark. A tense conversation is possible today when President Biden speaks with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for the first time since the Israeli strike that killed seven aid workers in Gaza. The U.S. has already called for an investigation. We want to make sure that the findings are public uh, and that uh, there is accountability. I want to be very careful here. I'm not going to get ahead of that process. There is a process underway. That's White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre, the founder of the charity World Central Kitchen, claims the group was targeted. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's arrived in China to begin a week of bilateral economic talks. During a refueling stop in Alaska, she told reporters the U.S. and China need to cooperate. We have agreed that it's important to both of us that we don't want to uh, decouple our economies um, we want to continue, and we think we both benefit from trade and investment, but that it needs to be in a level playing field. Meanwhile, in Taiwan, rescue efforts continue after the powerful earthquake that killed at least 10 people. Welders, construction crews, and engineers are working in Baltimore to clear more debris from the collapsed Key Bridge. Rear Admiral Shannon Gilreath, the head of the Unified Command, explained the next pivotal step. We need to lift those undamaged containers off to give us space to safely operate, to begin to plan to remove portions of the bridge that are also now embedded into the ship. Officials in L.A. are still in the early stages of an investigation into a multi-million dollar heist from a money storage facility. ABC's Michelle Fisher has the latest. Days after thieves broke in and stole tens of millions of dollars on Easter. Officials briefed on the investigation telling ABC News the thieves got in undetected without setting off alarms through the roof. It's unclear just how much money was taken from Garda World. You're listening to ABC News. Time now for the KSL In-Depth. A 62-year-old Massachusetts man is going home with a new kidney. But it's not a human kidney. It's a kidney from a pig. ABC's Jim Ryan joins us live with details. Was the operation successful, Jim? It was. Yeah, it happened this past week, Amanda. And uh, now Richard Slayton has gone home a week after that surgery. 62 years old. He was in end-stage kidney failure. Really didn't have much choice. And so when his doctors came to him and said, you want to try this experimental procedure, we're going to put a kidney, a modified kidney from a pig into your body. Slayman said yes. And now he has left. He says he's left the hospital with one of his cleanest bills of health ever. He says he wish he had been able to do this years ago. But now he is, says he's healthy, feels good, and he's gone home. I know they've tried this with pig hearts before, but maybe a simple question. Why a pig, have they said? Well, because pigs anatomically are a lot like people. You know, uh, corneas, the eyes, the heart, and now this kidney. Now, they're not perfect, a perfect match. And so this pig kidney, Tim, had been genetically edited uh, to remove harmful pig genes and to add some human genes. And initially, Slayman's body began to reject the pig transplant. It did recover. Uh, doctors were able to work quickly and, and uh, to, to halt the rejection. And now it all looks good. And now Slayman has gone home with this pig kidney in his body. Editing the DNA, is that the yeah. CRISPR process I've, I've read about? I think they, they do some research at the University of Utah with that. It is, and that's that's the key to this entire thing. You know, years ago, I think people realized that pig kidneys were a lot like human kidneys. Why not go ahead and just transplant one? Uh, because it it doesn't work one for one unless this kind of uh, this CRISPR genetic uh, modification is done, and that that's what was done in this case. Even with human kidneys, uh, over time rejection still can be a problem. So I guess we just wait and see here. It, exactly, and then they're going to monitor him very carefully. This is still he's an experimental case. He's kind of a guinea pig with a pig's heart, with a pig kidney. Um, and obviously FDA approval is a long way down the road. They'll study this case and others related to it, look at the procedure and decide whether it's something that could be more widely available. But this is a, a groundbreaking procedure and it could help the nearly 90,000 kidney patients who are currently on dialysis. Wow. And he had nothing to lose, right? Because he was, as you say, in, in end stage failure, yes. kidney failure. 
Exactly. And and I think he, he jumped at this chance when his doctors came to him and said, you know, it might work, it might not work. And he said, what do I have to lose? Yeah. And, yeah. and now he's gone home. I'm sure if you ask him or his loved ones, they would say every day we have with him is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a gift mm-hmm. at this point. Uh, Jim, thanks. Uh, thanks. ABC's Jim Ryan joining us uh, here on the In-Depth at 15 and 45. 519 now. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Andy? Amanda, right now we're actually off to a nice start in Salt Lake County, both on I-15 and the city streets. That heavy traffic we were seeing southbound on Mountain View is thinned out right now. Uh, Redwood a little bit heavy in Taylorsville going up into West Valley, but for the most part, pretty light early on this morning. Heather? We've got a crash southbound I-15 in Farmington. This is just before you get to the Park Lane area. Looks like UHP is doing a slowdown to try to move the vehicles off to the right or off the freeway completely. So you do have a little bit of backup in the area backing up toward Kaysville. Now once all these cars are off the roadway, then the speed should return to normal into Salt Lake City. Eric? I-15 just fine in Utah County right now getting over to the freeway. The major feeders looking good and that includes uh, Eagle Mountain, Saratoga Springs drivers. No problems on SR-73, uh, the uh, 2100 north uh, entrance over to the freeway as well as Pioneer Crossing. And Provo Canyon looks good if you're heading out to Heber City this morning. No problems on 189. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on Fifth South and Bountiful. Durden's brand you know at prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast starts out with 70s. 73 today with a warm, dry south breeze, mostly sunny skies. 58 tomorrow will be breezy, chance for showers into Saturday. How about rain, snow showers, even down to the valley floor with a high of only 44 degrees. 48 mostly cloudy on Sunday, bumps up to 51, partly cloudy skies on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday next week, we're upper 50s, low 60s with high pressure building. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Here we go again. Whoa, (laughs) with the forecast. 57 degrees right now in Salt Lake City. And the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. This weekend is General Conference for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So remember, you can hear all the sessions live. I, I listen live to the station on my app all the time. Mm-hmm. So you just if you don't have it already, download the KSL News Radio app or listen in the car, of course, at 102.7 FM. And we'll have special programming before and after sessions, too. In fact, I even have a, a special edition of A Woman's View this Sunday where I sit down with three educators, a 30-year veteran middle school teacher, a charter school principal, and a college professor. Oh, wow. And ask them from their perspective, how do they understand some of the issues that are facing teachers like AI. How do they handle AI or, or think about that? Or, you know, chronic absenteeism. That's been a problem since COVID. Mm. Do they see that in their different uh, capacities? So we'll talk with that. that and that airs a Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. You've got a personal experience up at the U with well, I do, uh, AI, yeah. don't you? I do, so I'll probably jump you're a, in. You're a zero tolerance kind of professor, <laughs> as I understand it. Coming up in a minute, we'll see what's happening with futures markets. I think we ended the day yesterday mixed. KSL News Time now is 523. You have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-230-2777. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-230-2777. That's 800-230-2777. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-230-2777. 800-230-2777. Do you find it exhausting getting up from your favorite chair every day? Say goodbye to discomfort and hello to a world of ease. Hi, I'm Jay Broadbent with Alpine Home Medical, and you have so many options when buying a lift chair. For the highest quality, always come to Alpine. 
Our lift chairs are more than just furniture. They're your ticket to independence and relaxation. Plus, with our spring savings event, we've just marked down some of our chairs that are ready for you to take home. With an unbelievable warranty, you can shop with confidence knowing your comfort is our priority. So stop by any of our 11 locations today and explore our high-quality inventory. Or visit us online at alpinehomemedical.com. That's alpinehomemedical.com. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Elon Musk's ex has named a new head of safety. They've gone nine months without someone in the position. X said that company veteran Kylie McRoberts will oversee the global safety team. The announcement arrives amid ongoing concerns around content moderation, as well as the spread of misinformation and hate speech on the platform. I'd like to see that job description. Oh, man. I mean, 24 hours a day, seven days a Seriously. week. Seriously. Chase Bank says it's launching a new way for brands to market directly to people based on their spending history. The bank says a new division will bring its 80 million uh, customers targeted deals and discounts. The deals will be personalized to customers who will have the option to activate the promotions on the Chase app or on the bank's website. How long, how long until an algorithm runs absolutely everything in our lives? I don't even want to think yeah. about it. <laughs> Women's NCAA basketball ticket prices now averaging more than twice the cost of men's? Seriously? Yeah. On the on the secondary market, yeah. Logitix, a company that analyzes prices, says women's tickets have averaged more than twenty three hundred dollars the past couple of days. For the men's final four, that number's about a grand. And you could thank Caitlin Clark for that spike. Ticket prices have been surging since Iowa beat Louisiana State on Monday. Way to yeah. go. I'll tell you something. As big as that game was against, uh, and everybody was, you know, making the headliner, Caitlin Clark against Angel Reese. Right. This game on Friday uh, between Iowa and uh, UConn is really going to be something. Mm-hmm. And they're talking about uh, the guard for UConn, Paige, I think the last name is Buker, yeah. something like that. Anyway. It's going to be must see TV for sure if you're UConn a basketball been, fan. The, they've been the dominant in in women's basketball, haven't they, for decades? For a long time. They yeah. come in as a number three seed this year, and I was the number one seed. Oh, so, wow. going to be interesting mm. for sure. All right, let's see how the markets are. I mentioned we uh, finished mixed yesterday. The Dow was the only one in the red, it was down about 43 points, everything up slightly. Uh, beyond that but all in the green this morning the dow is up 108 the s&p is up 17 and the nasdaq up 85 we do have one problem to tell you about it's a southbound crash on i-15 in between kaysville and farmington causing some slowing for davis county drivers we'll check that and the rest of your commute just ahead i'm getting vaccinated with prevnar 20 a pfizer vaccine So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. If you need a break from it all, this weekend is General Conference. When you've dealt with a lot and you need to recharge, this weekend is General Conference. If things are difficult or life is going really well. For all these times, a reminder, it's time for General Conference Weekend at 102.7 FM and streaming live on the app for KSL News Radio. This week's movie show brought to you by My Hearing Center. Schedule a hearing evaluation and be entered to win a set of premium hearing aids by tuning in Friday from 10 to 1. 529 Traffic and Weather Together is again brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. How are we looking, Andy? We're looking okay through the Salt Lake Valley so far. No crashes on the freeway or city streets that'll slow you down. Traffic has been moving pretty smoothly so far out of Tooele County as well. A little bit of heavy traffic. SR 36, pretty windy there too. You'll really feel it as you drive north uh, towards I 80. 
Heather? The crash we had southbound I-15 near Park Lane in Farmington has been cleared off the freeway, so traffic is back to normal speeds now as you come through Davis County out of Layton and Kaysville. No problems on US-89 or Legacy Parkway at the moment either. Eric? I-15 is uh, moving along normally in Utah County. It's a 30-minute drive from uh, Santa Quin to Point of the Mountain. Along the Wasatch Bank, US-40 in good shape. If, you've, uh, if you're coming out of Park City, heading into the valley, it looks like we still have some slow moving vehicles going up over the top of uh, partly some that's true on the eastbound side too going through lambs canyon is it winter is it spring who cares come explore logan baby animal days festival is happening now through april 6th mountain man rendezvous live performances skiing snowmobiling and more explorelogan.com eric butler from ksl traffic center and today's going to be another beautiful day, warm, 73 for high. Tomorrow, uh, our storm moves in. We'll get rain tomorrow. Rain mixed with snow on Saturday. I can't believe how much colder it'll be. And, you know, the high on Saturday is only going to be 44 degrees. And right now, downtown, it's cloudy at 57. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 5.30. KSL's top story this hour. There have been a lot of, or has been a lot of debate around drones and drone etiquette over the last few years. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is live with more information. Eric? Amanda, we've been following incidents where drones are involved, like the most recent story of a drone peeping through windows of Draper Homes. Draper police responded to reports of a drone hovering window to window between multiple homes in Draper neighborhoods, uh, but were unsuccessful in finding the drone or the operator. Then in Ogden late last year, a man was shot and killed by a drone operator who flew his drone to investigate a dispute in his neighborhood. And when it crashed into a tree and the victim was holding the drone, the pilot of that drone shot the man seven times. He's now being charged with multiple felonies. Police advise anyone who sees questionable drone activity to report it to your local department. Reporting live, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. A group of parents in the Alpine School District are outraged at a new proposal to uh, bus special education students to schools outside of their boundaries. Here's KSL TV's Debbie Worthen. Their parents say they are fighting for basic educational rights after Alpine School District met with them to discuss changes to the life skills program in the district. Remy Forrest's son has already been shuffled around a lot. He's in second grade and this is his fourth school. The proposal is supposed to consolidate classes so kids aren't always shuffled to new schools. Bear Lake State Park is getting an upgrade to make space for more visitors. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston joins us live with details, Peter. Amanda, Utah and Idaho are dropping millions of dollars to expand Bear Lake State Park and add some crowd pleasing amenities. On the Idaho side of the lake, authorities spent two and a half million bucks to extend the public beach base by about 30 acres. But on this side of the border, Utah will be putting up $5 million for dozens of new campsites that come complete with water and electric RV connections. A new marina is also coming. The price tag for that is $60 million. But is all this worth it? One report from the Conservation Economics Institute shows that the lake is growing into an enormous golden goose for Utah and Idaho. In just 2021, visitors spent almost $54 million. Reporting live, Peter Johnston. KSL News Radio. Well, if you see smoke along the Wasatch Front today, police say it's nothing to worry about. Starting at 8 a.m., crews from Forestry, Fire, and State Lands will be conducting a prescribed burn at Ogden Bay. Crews will be burning about 2,000 acres of an invasive plant called Phragmites. Uh, smoke will be highly visible to Salt Lake, Davis, and Weber County residents. KSL's top national stories now. More than 1,000 flights have been canceled across the country as millions of Americans face severe weather, including heavy rain and tornadoes. ABC's Lionel Moise has details. The storms bringing strong winds and heavy rain to the Midwest, South, and the Northeast. Outside Philadelphia, a woman was killed when a tree crushed her car. At least 28 tornadoes were reported across nine states. One person was killed in Kentucky and in Georgia, a twister packing winds of 150 miles per hour, causing damage outside Atlanta. Salt Lake City has had 11 delays into and out of the airport today. 
One of the biggest heists in the history of Los Angeles unfolded without anybody noticing on Easter. Now a whole lot of money is missing and there are no suspects. It's like something out of a movie. Law enforcement sources are telling ABC News burglars broke into a secure building belonging to a company that handles cash. They got in through the roof, somehow bypassing alarms and got into the vault and stole tens of millions of dollars on Easter Sunday. They got out in a sophisticated operation without anybody noticing. Nobody noticed it until Monday morning. Now the FBI and LAPD are on the case. Alex Stone, ABC News, Los Angeles. First look traffic now, and here's Andy Farnsworth. So far, so good. I-15, yet to see any delays. Now that the crash in Farmington is gone, we've got good traffic into the canyons this morning. Everything open and good weather conditions. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A Lehigh construction worker was life-flighted to the hospital last night after falling from a roof. Uh, Police say that the worker fell in the Holbrook Farms neighborhood around 6.30 yesterday. Police haven't given an update on his condition. The husband of a Florida lawmaker has died after falling at Bryce Canyon National Park. Florida State Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo and her husband John were hiking when he fell. He was taken to a trauma center in St. George where he died. He was 72 years old. The way faith and religion is portrayed in media can have a real-world effect. KSL News Radio's Michael Committee is live to explain. Michael? Tim, this comes from a study done by the Faith and Media Initiative and market research specialist Harris X. Among 10,000 participants, 63% say too much faith content gets rooted in controversy. 43% of media's approach to religion creates an unease and anxiety. This info was quoted by Sherry Dew, Deseret Management Corporation's chief content officer at a BYU lecture, according to Deseret News. She told students they have the opportunity to become storytellers who can portray faith in a more accurate and honest way. Reporting live, Michael Kimmitt, KSL News Radio. Recently purchased historical artifacts from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints are now on display in Salt Lake for the first time. KSL News Radio's Alessandra Gurr reports. These artifacts include significant documents for the church, including pages from the Book of Commandments and Revelations, a document that contains characters like those on the gold plates, and portraits of Joseph and Emma Smith that were painted during their lifetimes. BYU student Riley Nichols says he's grateful the church is giving the public an opportunity to see these artifacts. Facts. As the church has position of it, it'll just like be a lot more public and like a lot more people can see it because it's been held very tightly. But I also think it'll have a different spirit around it as they like go to share it really openly. The display will be open through October. Alessandra Gurr, KSL News Radio. You can catch every session of the 194th Annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints and special programming right here on KSL News Radio starting Saturday morning at 9 30. The flow is back to normal. Now southbound I-15 heading into Farmington after an earlier crash. We'll check traffic and weather together next. Spend time with KSL News Radio and get a deeper understanding of the world around us. I do listen to KSL so much because you've got voices like Boyd Matheson. I listen to him every day. You can trust him. Inside Sources, weekdays 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. Looking for a secure retirement plan without market risk? Look no further. Lyle Boss, president of Boss Financial, specializes in no market risk retirement strategies with guarantees of principal, guaranteed growth, and lifelong income. Join Lyle right here each Saturday and Sunday for his Safe Money radio show. And call him now at 855-355-SAFE for your complimentary customized Safe Money information kit and Safe Money book. Nothing but upside here at 855-355-SAFE. Some things are better together, like burgers and fries, movies and popcorn, and auto and home insurance. At Farm Bureau Financial Services, we'll help you bundle your auto and home coverage in one policy, saving you money. And if a storm hits and both are damaged, you'll pay a single deductible. Find an agent at fbfs.com slash protect. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. Jeff Kaplan. When you're online, that's sometimes a source of fourth-hand information. Somebody does the reporting. Another website Googles. They find it. They rewrite it. And by the time you read it, you know the old game telephone. But KSL is a source of primary information. We have reporters on the street. They're out in the field finding out the details. And the difference between online and KSL News Radio, night and day. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, 3 to 7 on KSL News Radio. 
Hey, if you're just joining us this morning, Eric Cabrera is working on getting more details. We had another overnight shooting, this time in a Murray parking lot that sent two people to the hospital. More on that as it becomes available this morning. 539 now, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda looks good so far on I-15. For those of you on Redwood, had some busy traffic running through West Valley, but it looks like that's thinned out. Mountain View starting to build up a little bit around 3,500 south on the west side. Heather? We're starting to see a few more cars. Southbound I-15 coming out of the Ogden area heading toward downtown Salt Lake. Not enough to slow anybody down at this point, especially after that crash was cleared in Farmington. Traffic also getting a little bit busier on a few of the city streets, especially in the Clearfield area around Hill Air Force Base. Eric? Heading north on the 215 eastbound, no problems really. Uh, going up to the mouth of Parley's Canyon, then on to Foothill Drive. That's all good up to the University of Utah. There's still a, a modest amount of slowing, probably slow moving semis eastbound I-80 going from Lambs Canyon up to the top of Parley Summit. I-15 Utah County, no problems there. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock Court Stone Sale. Starting at just $39 a foot, visit bedrockcourts.com. That's bedrockcourts.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. It's the warm before the storm today. Mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the mid-70s, and breezy out of the south. Overnight, we'll go to 50 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, chance for showers, 58. We drop off to 44 on Saturday with a chance for rain and snow showers in the valley. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. We were just expressing our disappointment. Uh, I saw a uh, teaser trailer, or not trailer, but a poster for a, a new Goonies movie coming in oh. 2026. Oh. And so I've been doing a little research. The curse of the one-eyed Willie seems to be just an April Fool's joke. Oh. Had my hopes up. <laughs> anyway, uh, 57 degrees this morning. Coming up in just a moment, you've heard the old phrase, all's fair in love and war. Well, that isn't exactly true. There are rules of engagement that are supposed to govern, and each country has their own, mm -hmm. supposed to govern when you can use deadly force. And I guess some people are saying that, that Israel violated their own rules of engagement in that tragedy where the members of the um, you know, the aid workers were killed. So we're going to talk more about that with Brad Garrett just ahead. Stay with us and remember to watch for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We all have those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. I mean, for you, maybe it's the attic. For me, it's my basement. Well, if you had wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. Finally. With wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, a reliable connection in every room, and power for all your devices. Even when everybody's online. That's wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi. Only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home now through June 21st. New customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Here's what you do. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY. That's 1-800-XFINITY. Or visit a store today. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Over the years, you've brought them into your home. You were prescribed opioids after the C-section. When dad injured his back. When your basketball star tore his ACL. Opioids helped with the pain. And you held on to them just in case. 
But did you know holding on to unused opioids puts your family at risk? Opioids are powerful, pain-reducing prescription medicines. But most people who are prescribed opioids don't finish their prescriptions. So millions of unused opioids are sitting in homes across the country. And tragically, more than 100 Americans die every day from overdoses involving opioids. What can you do to protect your family? Remove the risk of unused opioids from your home. Pills, patches, or syrups in drawers, purses, and cabinets, anywhere they might be hiding. To find out how to dispose of them properly, visit www.fda.gov slash drug disposal. KSL News Time 545. The three things you need to know this hour. First, State Olympics officials have named 13 spots across Utah for Winter Games events in 2034. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, several treasured artifacts for members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are on display in Utah for the first time. Third, it's a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Got a bunch of flashing lights over where 215 and I-80 uh, meet by the airport, but it's on I-80 itself. So far, so good on the corridor of I-15 into and out of Salt Lake City. That's good news. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Warm south winds today bumping temperatures to 73. I'm Matt Johnson. 55 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And a look at our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Brian Clark. Chef Jose Andres, the founder of the World Central Kitchen Aid Group, said he believes that Israeli forces targeted the seven aid workers killed in an Israeli strike on Monday in Gaza. ABC's Mary Bruce has more on the U.S. reaction. President Biden will be speaking with Prime Minister Netanyahu in what is expected and likely to be a very tense call. Look, President Biden we know is outraged and he says heartbroken by these killings. In his strongest rebuke yet this week, he accused Israel of simply not doing enough to protect civilians. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's arrived in China for a week of bilateral economic talks. Officials in Los Angeles are trying to figure out just how much money was stolen from a money storage facility after thieves broke in undetected on Easter Sunday and took tens of millions of dollars. There are no suspects. And nobody won the Powerball jackpot, the next jackpot Saturday, worth $1.23 billion. This is ABC News. Time now for the KSL In-Depth. Seven foreign aid workers were killed in that Israeli airstrike in Gaza. Now, some are raised questions about Israel's rules of engagement. ABC's crime and terrorism analyst Brad Garrett joins us live. Help us understand what the rules of engagement mean, Brad. So when you go after someone, whether it be with drones or whether it be to go into a high-risk situation uh, into a building, looking for, in Israel's case, for Hamas targets, uh, what, what information do you really have? How much has it been vetted? Is it timely? In other words, if a person, or in this case, a targeted hit where you're looking at three vehicles, what did they believe they knew about who was in those vehicles? And maybe just as importantly, where, where, where did they think they were going from the point after they left a warehouse where they dropped off humanitarian food and traveled in, and left there? And that's when they got hit with, you know, it looks like to me, multiple drone shots. Uh, and so that's the real question, and I think the bigger question is, and some of the experts on uh, the Israeli military is, uh, are they really vetting this stuff correctly? Are they allowing lower-level folks to make decisions uh, about whether to launch a, a, a targeted attack or not? Um, and so it, it's a control issue perhaps. But clearly, this was super bad in intelligence. Yeah. Uh, I always worry when the reporting says these were targeted because nobody really believes that the uh, Israelis were trying to kill aid workers, first no. of all. But secondly, how tough does this become, even with certain rules of engagement, when the enemy wants to uh, set up shop in schools, hospitals, and highly populated areas? It, it, as you well know, Tim, it, it is the worst type of warfare because you don't even know I mean, you may have intelligence about you're looking for the X number of people, but how do you separate Hamas from the everyday Palestinian just trying to get through the day? And the answer is probably a lot that you can't. And, I mean, that may be one of the reasons that 80 percent of the buildings in northern Gaza are destroyed, um, you know, seeking out bad guys. It is just the worst. And I think – and this is an important point – 
Hamas had so many years to prepare for this. I mean, they had hundreds of miles or do have hundreds of miles of concrete steel tunnels underneath Gaza. They've been amassing weapons. They've been training. They've been – they prepared for October for years, and you can't underestimate how much more difficult that then makes it for Israeli soldiers to fight them. I try and imagine what it would be like for Israel to occupy Gaza indefinitely, and I just don't know how they even consider that. No, and, and I mean, politically, that's just not going to work. And I think our this country, our country, and other countries have said, you know, that can't be the plan. I, you know, I, I sort of get why they say that. But, you know, when you make statements like we're going to eradicate Hamas, well, you can't. You, you can't eradicate a philosophy. You can't eradicate a way of thinking, a way of life. I mean, if we would have said that in reference to ISIS, we did I, degrade ISIS, but ISIS is still out there. In some places, they're quite strong. And so it, it's all about you know, sort of proportionality here to a certain extent of what's realistic, what isn't. Um, and I, I just – it's hard for me, to, to your point, to envision – that they're going to occupy uh, Gaza indefinitely. Yeah, and and how many more uh, mines are you ruining for the future that mm-hmm. then uh, right. feel like they need to take up the cause because they have of those course. memories as children? Yeah, yeah, Brad, it's an impossible situation, and it is every time the U.S. was accused of these same uh, atrocities during the Iraq and Afghanistan mm-hmm. wars. Just part of what happens right. when these things happen in the world, unfortunately. Uh, Brad Garrett, uh, ABC News crime and terrorism analyst, joining us again on the In-Depth at 15 and 45. It's 549. Time for a look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy, those flashing lights still out there around the airport. Yeah, it's on 215 out as you go west towards the airport passing. Uh, it's on I-80, excuse me, as you go past 215. Uh, we've got a little bit of slowing on State Street right now as you go north through uh, Murray, bound around the 5900 South area. But if you're taking I-15, it's less than 20 minutes from Point of the Mountain to downtown, the whole way through the valley moving just fine. Heather? We do have a fender bender up in Ogden. This is on Wall Avenue southbound at 2nd Street. So as you come out of Harrisville and head into the Ogden area proper, the vehicle is over on the right shoulder, not really causing delays. Just use some caution. You have pretty good speeds if you're sticking with I-15, though, all the way from Ogden to Salt Lake. That's less than a 30-minute commute. Eric? Going out to Park City, uh, I-80, not bad this morning. A touch of slowing uh, as you head from Lamps Canyon up over the top of Parley. Some of no big problems, though, and you got dry roads there as well as on 189 through Provo Canyon. Uh, in between uh, Heber City and Park City, U.S. 40 looking good for northbounders. Transform your outdated kitchen with half-price granite. Granite, quartz, marble, and quartzite starting at $25 per square foot installed. Visit halfpricegranite.com. Affordable luxury. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast, even warmer than yesterday. Going for 73 with a dry south breeze today. Mostly clear skies. 58 tomorrow with a chance for showers. A little bit cooler. We're also noticing breezy winds. 44, that's all you get on Saturday. Rain, snow, showers, even for the valley. Mostly cloudy skies on Sunday, 48. 51, partly cloudy on Monday. Tuesday, we're back up to 57. Sunny skies, high pressure in the area on Wednesday, 63 with ample sunshine. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. And right now it's 55 degrees. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We'll check money news again coming up in just a minute. Jazz fans, secure your seats for the next NBA season by getting season tickets. Season ticket members get special perks like team store discounts, savings on in-arena concessions, and more. Be there for every moment during the 2024-25 season by calling or texting 801-355-DUNK today. 801-355-DUNK. Let's go, Jazz. There are many out-of-control factors that can cripple supply chains and break down the ability to get vital supplies for weeks, maybe even longer. Inflation and political instability means the cost of food could skyrocket. Now is the time to do something about it. The first step is to protect your family and to stock up on what you need. ReadyWise meals taste incredible, are simple to make, easy to store, and offer up to a 25-year shelf life. 
ReadyWise is a leader in emergency food supplies. During General Conference Weekend, enjoy saving statewide on all emergency food and supplies. Visit ReadyWise.com slash KSL to explore the versatile emergency meal selection and start building your emergency food supply today. That's ReadyWise.com slash KSL. Use code KSL20 at checkout to take 20% off your purchase. This discount will work for any item on the site. That's ReadyWise.com slash KSL and use code KSL20. Some exclusions may apply. You trust us for news and information in your car. Now trust us at home. KSL News Radio has you covered, keeping you informed on the latest breaking news, weather, traffic, sports, and more. Listen on your Amazon Echo or Google Home device. Just say, Alexa, open KSL News Radio, or listen on the KSL News Radio Listen app. Text the word app to 57500. KSL News Radio, we have you covered. Watching Utah's Money this morning is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. More people are going to concerts. Live Nation, the company that owns Ticketmaster, says 145 million of us attended concerts, a 20% bump from the previous year. I bet you can guess who raked in the most revenue. Hmm. Come on. Oh, it'd be Taylor Swift. Oh, of course. Yes. Uh, followed uh, by uh, Beyonce. Uh, sorry, a little slow on the uptake there. <laughs> Taylor, by the way, this week was added to the billionaires list. Oh, wow. And she becomes the first music artist, strictly based on music, mm-hmm. to make it to a billion dollars of earnings. My daughter and I were just watching her, her concert video again last night because my daughter's going back to her home in Japan. Yeah. And we just wanted to watch it one more time. And I just, I, they show all the mothers and daughters in the audience together. It's just a bonding moment. That's great. Moment. Well, you think inflation is bad here? Turkey's annual inflation was 69% last month. Like the U.S., Turkey's government has been raising interest rates. Their key rate went from 45 to 50%. Yeah. Holy cow, what's going on over there? <laughs> well, financially, they're uh, falling apart, actually. Turns out fewer people are writing wills. Only 32% of adults report having a will. The study suggests many people are worrying less about mortality uh, since the end of the pandemic. But let me tell you, if you've ever lived through this with mm-hmm. a family member who has passed and didn't have any of those affairs in order, you would be motivated oh, you to would. make sure all those uh, eyes are uh, dotted and T's are crossed. Because you leave a mess for your family. You really do. All right, let's get a look at your money at this moment. The futures are up a little bit. Dow futures up 94, that's a quarter percent. S&P futures up 15, that's three tenths. NASDAQ futures up 75, that's four tenths. We have that one crash on the ramp from 215 West Belt to go west on I-80 uh, over to the airport. We'll check on that in the rest of the valley next. A fiduciary has the regulatory obligation to put your best interest first. Trajan Wealth is a financial fiduciary for your investments. With Trajan Wealth, the more you make, the more we make. Our interests are a Most other financial advisors are brokers held to a lesser standard and are paid an upfront commission to sell you something. Call Trajan Wealth 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. Waiting on a tax return? Hopefully it ends up in your hands. Fraudulent tax returns due to identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Our U.S.-based restoration specialists are experts dedicated to helping solve your identity theft issues. And all LifeLock plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. So we'll reimburse you up to the limits of your plan if you lose money due to identity theft. Help protect your information this tax season with LifeLock. Save up to 25% your first year with promo code NEWS at LifeLock.com. Easy Cater. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Need food for a meeting or a company event? Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work, work with easy online ordering and reordering. Save your favorite orders, make edits as needed, and click. We even help you with expenses by keeping your receipts all in one place, which means all you need to do is sit back and enjoy the food. From ordering to reporting, Easy Cater has everything to make food for work, work. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. The crime tore a community apart. Chad has much more likelihood of putting on a defense. Can the judge and attorneys pick a fair jury? The death penalty is going to be a huge part of this. The trial of Chad Daybell, mornings and afternoons, starting this week. Listen at home for the latest developments and in the car for updates from the courtroom here on KSL News Radio. 559 Traffic and Weather Together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. 
Amanda, travel through Salt Lake County, still rolling on I-15. It's I-201, the 201 freeway that's getting a little bit heavy out near uh, 8400 West. And we still have a broken down vehicle on westbound I-80 just after 215 as you head towards the airport with uh, UDOT on scene to help with that. Heather? Traffic's getting a bit busier in the Ogden area, especially on Washington and Wall Avenues. And we do have that crash southbound Wall Avenue at 2nd Street. I-15, US-89, Legacy Parkway, they're running at speed both northbound and southbound. Eric? We're looking good in Utah County, I-15 at a normal pace, and you're looking at a 24-minute drive northbound from Spanish Fork up to Point of the Mountain if you're entering the flow there. A State Street, Redwood Road, also in good shape for northbounders, and heading out through Provo Canyon, 189, no problems out to Heber City, and this morning we don't have any difficulties on Highway 6. If you're going through Spanish Fork Canyon, uh, you've got dry roads through those mountains. Don't let tax problems ruin your life. Let Utah Tax Attorney Jordan Wilcox handle the IRS so you don't have to. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. 73 degrees for a high today. That'll be the warmest of 2024 so far, but it's not going to last. 44 by Saturday with even a chance of some snow, believe it or not. Right now in Salt Lake City, it's just partly cloudy. 55 degrees. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 6 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. Breaking news from overnight, two people are in the hospital after a shooting in a gym parking lot. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is at the scene. Eric, what's going on there? Amanda, I'm here at the EOS Fitness parking lot here in Murray, and you would never know just by standing here this morning uh, what happened last night around 1044, according to Murray Police. Uh, the lot is packed with gym goers already this morning, but according to Chris Reardon with Murray PD, a shooting involving multiple people took place right here where I stand. Uh, details are limited, but what we do know is there were two victims, one male and one female, that were taken to Intermountain Medical Center in critical but stable condition. It's unknown whether uh, the victims hit were involved. Uh, a witness told KSL TV last night that she saw a woman badly wounded on the ground and she was unsure whether the shooter or shooters fled or ran inside. Um, I'm going to go and try and speak with EOS staff here in just a moment to get more details. But for now, reporting live from Murray, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. Some people in Salt Lake City are being asked to pull out their artificial grass and they're not happy about it. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has that story. Troy Villapondo has had turf for years, and it was expensive to put in. But now the city's asking him and one of his neighbors to rip it out by April 25th. They said if I don't do it by that date, it's five to seven thousand dollars and twenty-five dollars a day. While Salt Lake City's Public Utilities Department has nothing to do with enforcement, Director Laura Briefer says artificial turf is not recommended because it contains forever chemicals and microplastics. During runoff, for instance, in a rain event, the types of man-made materials that are used could add to contamination to our waterways or to groundwater. City code says turf is not supposed to cover more than 35% of the area that should be covered by vegetation. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. Utah Olympics officials have picked 13 potential venues for the Winter Games events next decade. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston gives a live update, Peter. Amanda, it turns out curling is going to be out from Ogden, but the opening and closing ceremonies will stay at Rice Cycle Stadium. Utah Olympic Committee Chair Fraser Bullock tells KSL.com that these guidelines, these venues chosen, are not commandments written into stone because the plans are for an event that's 10 years away. For one thing, a baseball and a hockey stadium could be coming to Salt Lake City. Deseret News even says there's talk about one of those stadiums hosting a big air event. The new map for the 2034 Games shows the core of the events will be happening in and around Salt Lake City, with other events happening in the Wasatch Back Zone at certain resorts and more happening at Snow Basin up north. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Speaking of big air, Colin Hilton with the Utah Olympic Legacy Foundation tells KSL TV that big air event will be hosted downtown. It's a towering set of scaffold structure that really creates a huge in run for snowboarders and free ski athletes to make an incredibly huge jump doing flips and twists. 
Local uh, shop owners also say hosting the Olympic Games would be quite the novelty. Local radio stations are excited about it, too. <laughs> yeah. As you know, that parking lot across the street holds uh, significance in my life. Oh, of course. You did the medals plaza. Because I announced medals every night across the street. So, uh, And it looks like the medals would still be awarded in that same spot. They'll just have a, an event that also takes yeah. place. It'd be well, amazing. They'll share it over there. KSL's top national stories. Now, the international fallout continues for Israel as news of the deadly strike against international aid workers brings a new wave of criticism on the IDF's operations in Gaza. ABC's Christian Cordero has more. The World Central Kitchen Workers, an American, three British nationals, an Australian, a Polish national, and a Palestinian driver, were traveling in a caravan when it was attacked, their vehicles clearly branded with the Food Relief Organization's logo. Chef Jose Andres, founder of World Central Kitchen, claims the group was targeted. Prime Minister Netanyahu's foreign policy advisor insists the attack was not intentional. President Biden is expected to speak with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today, their first conversation since Monday's attack. Taiwan Emergency Services uh, continued uh, rescue operations. ABC's Joyce Wong is in Taipei. Authorities here said that as of 4.25 p.m. local time, the quake has killed 10 lives and injured more than 1,000 people. Rescue efforts are still being made to get to some 700 people who were either stranded or uncounted for. It is one of, the, one of the strongest quakes in the island nation's history. A group of Utah high schoolers was visiting Taiwan when the earthquake struck. Parent chaperone Julie Allen tells KSL TV the group wasn't near the epicenter, but they still felt the shaking. Then we got on our phones, we started to get amber alerts of tsunami warning. The group had only visited one of the hardest hit areas days before. First look traffic and he's back in the traffic center. And we've had a pretty nice drive on I-15 so far. We've got a crash in Ogden, westbound on 12th Street at Harrison Boulevard. We've also got that stalled vehicle. They've now moved it all the way over to the right shoulder on westbound 80 near 215's west side. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. The American Cancer Society expects cancer cases will rise to 35 million people worldwide in the next 25 years. ABC's Andy Field has details. The American Cancer Society reports physicians diagnosed 20 million cancer cases in 2022 and nearly 10 million died around the world. They expect that number to reach 35 million by 2050, that prediction based on just an aging population. But the study's authors say the numbers will likely be even worse with continued unhealthy diets, physical inactivity, and heavy drinking and smoking in some societies. That report also says many who live in undeveloped nations will die from cancer because they don't have access to treatment. A dairy worker in Texas is believed to have been infected by an animal that was infected with bird flu. Sony Salzman with ABC's medical unit says avian flu has been known to be found in several species. Bird flu has not just been found in birds. We've known that bird flu circulates in birds. That's why it's called bird flu or avian flu. But what we're seeing now is that 11 cattle herds, so cows, have also been found with the virus. And this week, a man in Texas who was in close contact with one of those herds he also was infected with bird flu. The infection triggered some farm closures and increased CDC attention to the outbreak. After a two-day competition in Las Vegas, our own Taylorsville can say they've got the area's top dogs and handlers. KSL News Radio's Don Brinkerhoff explains. A couple weeks ago, three K-9 teams from the Taylorsville Police Department attended the 32nd annual Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department's K-9 trials. Sergeant Jacob Palmer says over the two-day event, their team earned the highest overall average scores in all categories. Fifty different teams from California, Nevada, Arizona, and Utah competed in the event. Who gets the bigger treat, the dog? or the uh, handler. <laughs> I don't know, but that's awesome. <laughs> Give that dog a bone. Uh, courtesy of uh, City Street crash in Ogden now, one is blocking lanes for traffic on 12th Street at Washington. We'll see how big of a problem that actually is with traffic and weather together next. Bigger stories demand more accountability, more experience, more trust. If it's like an election day or we're expecting some bad weather, KSL presents the story. I'm biased. It's a good local source. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. 
You know, Deb, you and I have had this conversation so many times. We think, oh, I wish I had a little more light here or maybe a ceiling fan there. That's why we love Master Electrical. So anytime we have an electrical problem, we know we can call them and they will give us their upfront pricing guarantee. Because we're not going to do it yourself. We're going to leave it to the professionals. And this upfront pricing guarantee is fantastic. I'm sure you've been bitten by bids in the past where they say, oh, that's going to take half a day. And then two weeks later... The bid and the invoice have nothing to do with each other. Not only will you get their upfront pricing guarantee, but you will never see an upcharge. Their pricing system simply won't allow it. Master Electrical proudly serves from Logan to Santa Quin. They do everything that has to do with electrical, and they're always open, including for emergency services. The phone number to call is 801-543-2222. 801-543-2222 or check them out online at masterelectrical.com. Hi, everyone. It's Congressman Blake Moore here. As I've listened to your concerns during my recent in-person and telephone town halls, one thing is clear. Utahns are concerned about border security. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, the Biden administration's policies have allowed for over 8.5 million encounters nationwide, including over 7 million at the southern border, more than ever before in American history. Record amounts of fentanyl have come through our borders and led to heartbreaking outcomes for families who have lost loved ones to overdoses. For the sake of our community's safety and national security, something must change. This is why House Republicans swiftly passed the Secure the Border Act of 2023 to strengthen our southern border with new technologies, increase the number of Border Patrol agents, end catch and release, and require transparency from the Department of Homeland Security. I will keep fighting to make first district communities safer, and I encourage you to sign up for my weekly e-newsletter and follow me on social media at Rep. Blake Moore to stay updated on my efforts. Paid for by official funds authorized by the House of Representatives. You're just getting out of bed this morning. Eric Cabrera is on the scene of a shooting overnight in a gym parking lot in Murray. Two people were taken to the hospital, and he's working to get more details for us this morning. KSL News Time now, 609, traffic and weather together. Again, brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Is that uh, situation cleared toward the airport, Andy? Yeah, they moved the vehicle that broke down out of traffic, and UDOT's pulled away, and so uh, it's really not... It's no different than any debris on the right shoulder at this point. Traffic on I-15 still clear from Draper to downtown. And traffic out of Tooele on I-80 looks clear. 10-minute drive from Lake Point to Bangor. Heather? We still have this crash in Ogden. It's on 12th Street heading west at Washington Boulevard. Now, originally, the entire intersection was shut down, but they have moved a couple of the vehicles over to the right. So it looks like... A left turn lane and one left through lane going through the intersection is open if you're westbound on 12th Street. So that's good for drivers there. And once you hop on I-15, you shouldn't have any problems. Traffic is filling in heading south into downtown Salt Lake. Eric. North Founders on the 215 East Belt running by Mount Olympus up to the mouth of the canyon. That's all looking good this morning. Foothill Drive, no problem so far going up to the University of Utah. I-80 out into the mountains, that's looking good. If you're westbound on ID through Sugar House over to I-15, no problems there. Lagoon is looking for ride maintenance technicians. Lagoon offers excellent mechanical training programs with amazing career opportunities. Ride maintenance technician position is full-time and year-round. Details, visit lagoonpark.com forward slash. Last jobs. Eric Butler in KSL Traffic Center. Courtesy of winds out of the south today, we'll bump the temperatures even more to 73, mostly sunny skies. Overnight, a little bit breezy, keeping temperatures mild, right around 50 degrees for an overnight low. 58 tomorrow with a chance for showers, then rain snow showers with a high of only 44 on Saturday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Mostly cloudy out there this morning, 54 degrees. I was just reading this morning, Tim, that I guess Taiwan did not think that this earthquake was going to be as bad as it was, so they didn't send out a warning. They knew one was coming. They just didn't think it How would did be... they know one was coming? Well, you know that. I mean, I think all those seismologists, they, they can predict and send out a warning if they feel True. tremors begin. So we're going to learn more about that. Man, that's a good question to ask. Let's ask Tom Rivers. We'll talk to him next on KSL. Stay with us and remember to watch for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, 
you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hey, everyone. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. Well, hello, it's me again. And like me, I'll bet you're ready for spring in a little green lawn again. I've got a tip. Don't spend a fortune hiring a lawn care company. Save some money and do it yourself. And here's how. Go to J&J Garden Center in Layton and purchase their simple, color-coded five-step fertilizer system that covers up to 10,000 square feet and will rejuvenate your lawn for just $199.98. And nobody beats J&J's price. So for a lush, healthy, green lawn, come and try J&J Garden Center's five-step fertilizer system. I promise you won't regret it. Take the Leighton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then with two miles, you've got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, J&J Garden Center. You know that feeling? It's kind of hot in the afternoon, and you hear the air conditioner kick in, and you think, there we go. And then you wait for a bit, but you don't feel any cold yet. So you go put your hand right in front of it, and sure enough, even with all that noise, it's just regular air coming out instead of cold. Whipple that away. Fixing air conditioners that don't make cold is my job. Make your problem my problem. Whipple Service Champions. Call today and ask about our next day installation, or visit whipplethataway.com. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has been protecting farmers and ranchers season after season. You need to know you're covered and you've got somebody covering your back. You've got local people that everybody knows. And we have a good policy and a good agent, and I guess that's what you need to be able to sleep at night. Loyal, local, and rooted in ag for over 80 years. Learn more at fbfs.com slash rooted in ag. It's your future. Let's protect it. KSL News Time 615. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Utah's dropping more than $65 million to add a marina and dozens of new campsites to Bear Lake State Park. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, we'll get some snow starting tomorrow night after multiple days in the 70s. Third, of course, a look at traffic and weather together. I-15 traffic is still running smooth into and out of Salt Lake. Still have a crash on uh, 12th Street at Washington Boulevard in Ogden. And we've got one reported now on the frontage road on the south side of the 201 freeway near Bangor Highway. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Winds kick up out of the south from an approaching storm. I'm Matt Johnson. 54 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's get a look at our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Brian Clark. President Biden is scheduled to speak today with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and it could be a tense conversation. During his phone call today with Prime Minister Netanyahu, President Biden is expected to express his outrage and concerns over the deaths of the seven humanitarian aid workers in Gaza. It's the first time the two leaders have spoken since that deadly Israeli airstrike and comes after the president issued a strong statement criticizing Israel for not doing enough to protect civilians and aid workers in Gaza. But so far, that sharp rebuke has not led to any change in U.S. policy toward Israel, the White House not putting limits or conditions on weapons the U.S. is sending there. Karen Travers, a ABC News, Washington. Meanwhile, foreign ministers, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken, are marking 75 years of NATO. Let us together protect all we built in 75 years under NATO's shield and ensure that it remains strong to keep building for the next 75 years and well beyond that. That's in Brussels, while Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's arrived in China for bilateral economic talks. During a refueling stop in Alaska, she explained the purpose of the two sides talking. Deep. All right, let's go uh, in-depth now on uh, the latest from Taiwan. We're seeing more video footage of the 7.4 magnitude earthquake. The inside of homes were seen violently shaking. At least 1,000 people were injured. ABC's Tom Rivers joins us live on the KSL Newsline. What did I read, Tom, that, that the Taiwanese authorities 
knew a quake was coming, but they didn't think it would be as big as it turned out to be? Exactly. And, of course, that'll be a, uh, a bone of contention. It'll be an investigation into that. You know, it, it is quite quake prone. It's sort of, I guess, if, if you live on the West Coast, you kind of can become blasé to this as well. Uh, and maybe that's the case here. Um, but again, they, they, they have one of the most sophisticated alert systems, but they figured, uh, well, it's probably seen this before. I guess what they didn't count on is the strength of this is 7.4. But, but they had it dialed into the day, Tom. If that, if that works, we want some of that around here. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, it gives you it gives you a warning, you know, fill in the blank, maybe a minute or seconds literally before. And you can pre-program and you can push a button and have a, uh, you know, a predetermined warning going out to, say, uh, text messages on on cell phones, uh, that kind of thing. So, you know, they can alert people. But again, you got to be Johnny on the spot to react to something like that. Were they able to rescue some of those mine workers? Well, yeah, you bring up a great point. Um, officially, these were the figures we have of a couple hours ago. Um, of the various numbers, 96 people are uh, determined to be trapped. Now, the bulk of those are quarry workers at two locations. They're safe and sound, but uh, in both cases, debris is on the roadway. They can't get through. Uh, they should probably, in some cases, maybe getting there in a couple of hours. In the other case, maybe tomorrow because it's dark there right now. They're going to be okay. Kind of a parallel story uh, from our partners at TVBS on the scene. They say that 35 hotel workers and seven tourists who were stranded in one of the highway tunnels have been rescued and taken out to safety out of a gorge. I guess there's a parallel tunnel there. And uh, 29 people in there, they're okay, I guess, but we're going to have to wait until uh, tomorrow for evacuation. Yeah. All right, Tom, we'll leave it at that. But uh, quite frankly, looking at some of the videos and oh pictures, I'm surprised those numbers aren't much higher I than they too. are right now. I was just watching a new video this morning on the monitor that showed what looked like a bar and just dozens of bottles crashing down to the floor from behind the bar where they... Yeah, I still flash back to the one we saw yesterday where people were waiting at a stoplight in, in the, you know, what would be morning drive around yeah. here. And an entire building to the side of them tilts and leans toward the yeah. road. Yeah, they get out and run away from their cars. I don't know where how you would decide where to run, but, uh, you know, we're glad that the numbers aren't higher than they are this morning. We'll continue to keep an eye on it with uh, Tom's help and others from ABC News on the In-Depth at 15 and 45. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda looks good on I-15. No extra travel time through the valley from whatever exit uh, you join to whichever one you leave the freeway. So far, though, in Tooele County, SR-36 has been moving okay, but now we've got some delay as it merges on to I-80 for that first half mile heading towards the Salt Lake Valley. And Bangor getting a little bit heavy up near the 201 freeway. Heather? Starting to see a little bit of congestion around Hill Air Force Base, especially at the West Gate in Clearfield. But our biggest problem right now remains in Ogden. It's a crash on 12th Street, it's westbound right at Washington Boulevard. You still have a couple of left turn lanes that are open to people, but the, the crash itself is in the cleanup stages. One of the cars is on a tow truck. Crews are trying to clean up all the debris that was scattered across other lanes of travel. Eric. We don't have any crashes in Utah County, and the flow is good from Provo and Orm all the way up to Thanksgiving Point. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of congestion on the uh, uh, State Street, uh, on State Street, overall uh, just west of the freeway. If you're out in Lehigh, uh, uh, this is uh, not a common spot for slowdown, so we may have some uh, extra congestion there. Uh, if you're uh, heading out into the mountains, Provo Canyon looks good on 189 going out to Heber City. Don't miss the Bedrock Courts bonus cash event. Get 8% same as cash allowance or 12 months 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000, including countertop sinks and more. Visit bedrockcourts.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast starts out with 70s. 73 today with a warm, dry south breeze, mostly sunny skies. 58 tomorrow will be breezy, chance for showers. Into Saturday, how about rain, snow showers, even down to the valley floor with a high of only 44 degrees. 48, mostly cloudy on Sunday, bumps up to 51, partly cloudy skies on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday next week, we're upper 50s, low 60s with high pressure building. From the KSL Weather Center, 
I'm Matt Johnson. Matt's warning a lot about those uh, winds this morning, those south winds bringing that storm in. We could have 55 to 60 mile an hour winds in the West Desert wow. uh, today and tomorrow. It'll head over to the eastern part of the state. 54 downtown, the seven day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. All five sessions of General Conference this weekend for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are live on our air. So if you're driving around during a, a session, just tune into 102.7 FM or if you're at home, just to pull out your phone, download the KSL News Radio app, and listen to it live on the app. And so much great, uh, what we call shoulder programming yeah. uh, special. You've got one coming on Sunday, don't you? Uh, my Woman's View is, is a special with three different teachers talking about, I mean, it seems like culture wars take place in the classroom yeah, now. Yeah. So I'm going to talk to a college teacher, a middle school teacher, and a principal on Sunday morning. Look forward to that uh, here on KSL. We'll check money news when we come back. Our news time is 623. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. Common Spirit Health, hospitals, clinics, and caregivers, all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Healthcare with human kindness is here. Hello, human kindness. Hey, Steve, have you noticed your utility bills? Mine have almost doubled. Uh, yeah, trust me and call Brad at Gillette Heating and Air Conditioning. He got me not just a better system, but a carrier for about half the price of the big HVAC companies. You know, these super high energy systems can save thousands on utilities. And Brad showed me how to get almost $5,000 in utility and government rebates. You have their number? Uh-huh. 385-GET-HEAT. I even heard that if you get a system before the end of the month, they'll throw in a free water heater. 385 Get Heat. Yep. Got it. Or head to GilletteServices.com. Bill Riley here with University of Utah head football coach Kyle Whittingham. Now tell me, Coach Witt, what's your philosophy on a winning team? I believe the key to winning is a strong offensive line. When the linemen do their job, nothing gets through to the quarterback so he can do his job. Well, what happens if the linemen don't do their job? Ouch. You know, Bill, I recently learned that kidneys work like linemen for your body. When your kidneys work, you block poisons and chemicals from your blood. Coach, I've heard that one in nine Americans have some form of kidney disease. What can we do to fight back? Join me, Coach Kyle Whittingham, and be part of the winning team against kidney disease. Donate your used car or truck to the Kidney Foundation. Your car will be towed for free, and you'll get a receipt for a tax deduction. Tell them how to do that, Bill. Donate your car to the Kidney Foundation today and make your car a kidney car. Cars to save lives. Call 1-800-TOW-CARS. That's tow cars cars with a k 1-800-TOW-CAR every year the national kidney foundation helps individuals and families affected by kidney disease help them out by making your car a kidney car call 1-800-TOW-CARS watching utah's money brought to you by trajan wealth your trusted local fiduciary advisors trajanwealth.com job hopping is paying off for some workers adp reports the median year-over-year pay increase for people who switch jobs was 10 percent and people who stayed in the same job saw an annual gain of 5%. California wants to give employees the option to ignore their bosses when they're not on the clock. We were talking about this yesterday with David Dijanovic. Yeah. The state legislature has introduced a bill that would give employees the right to disconnect during non-work hours. Similar laws are in place in 13 other countries like France, Italy, and Mexico. Just don't answer that phone. <laughs> WhatsApp was down for hours worldwide yesterday. The 2 billion users, 2 billion weren't able to send any messages in the afternoon. People on other meta services also reported outages, but normally WhatsApp isn't impacted by outages. The Verge reports that the last time people were locked out of an app was two years ago. Some of my students who are from overseas, particularly from Asia, they, they don't text. They no. WhatsApp. Yeah. And that's how they do everything. All right, let's get a look at your money at this moment. Dow futures up 99. That's a quarter percent. S&P futures up 16. That's three tenths. The NASDAQ futures up 81. That's four tenths. I'll tell you why we use it overseas uh, when we're traveling internationally is you can make phone calls, no charge. Oh, that's awesome. Internationally, which oh, wow. is nice.
Um, a new accident causing slowdowns eastbound I-80 coming out of Tooele County. It's at the end of the on-ramp from SR-36. We'll get the latest on that coming up in just a minute. That little voice in the back of your head that says, you're never going to be able to lose weight. Only other people can do this. You were born this way. It's in your genes. It's just never going to work for you. And even if you did, you'd spend money and then you just gain it right back. That little voice needs to shut up <laughs> because I used to have that little voice. That little voice, every morning I'd get up and I'd you know try and squeeze into pants and I'd be in pain. I just, this is just your life, Amanda. And then I met these wonderful nutritionists at Soda Weight Loss. S-O-T-A stands for state of the art. And they worked out a plan for me specifically in my life with my health considerations, with my schedule, with my family situation, with my cooking needs. And they helped me lose 34 pounds in less than three months. And that was two years ago. Yeah. So don't talk to that voice. No. Talk to uh, the voice of a nutritionist who is right there at your beck and call whenever you need them. Even if you're sitting in a restaurant, you know, trying to figure out what to order that wouldn't get you in trouble with uh, the plan that you're on. They can take a look and we'll take a look at the menu and tell you what to order and what to leave off the plate. If, right. if it's, uh, you know, tell the waitress, I'll take that, but not that. They really do go out of their way to make sure because their goal is the same as yours, not just to lose the weight, but keep the weight off. Find out more about this great program. Go to SotaWeightLoss.com, spelled S-O-T-A, and it stands for State of the Art. Should work-life balance be the law? We feel this sense of pressure that if the boss gets a hold of us, we better be ready to respond ASAP. California thinks so. A new bill would give employees a legal right to ignore calls and text messages. I see no downside to this. Dave and DeGenevic, fuel your days with conversation. I don't think we'd be talking about this if bosses hadn't long ago jumped the shark. Weekday mornings, 9 to noon on KSL News Radio. 629 means traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay App. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. You know, Andy, if I lived in Tooele County, I might look into investing in a helicopter. (laughs) Some days that would really help. (laughs) This happens so often, though. Yeah, and right now we have a crash on eastbound 80. It's a little bit after the Lake Point on-ramp, but before you get to the 201 split to get into the Salt Lake Valley. So we're backed up that half mile on the freeway and now just as long on SR-36. In fact, delays almost all the way back to Canyon Road in Lake Point uh, before you can get onto the freeway. In the Salt Lake Valley, the northbound drive of I-15, though still clear between uh, Draper and downtown. Heather? No major delays on the freeways in Weber and Davis counties. I-84, US-89, I-15, they're all traveling at speed. But we're still dealing with a crash in Ogden. This is on 12th Street, right at Washington Boulevard. A couple of the westbound lanes are still blocked, but it's in the final cleanup stages, so hopefully that entire intersection will open shortly. Eric. Northbound I-15 in Utah County. The one problem we're having is the ramp closure to try to get off uh, into American Fork at uh, Pioneer Crossing. They've closed the entire ramp, and for a couple of moments there, uh, they closed all traffic. It looks like they're, they may be allowed, I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's still closed uh, for the moment uh, while they uh, get things set up for this ramp closure. It's serious crash. It may take a while for that to get clear, so think about using 500 East or going further up the line and exiting at Lehigh's Main street if you're northbound no matter what kind of car you drive two things are always true all tires eventually need replacing and all vehicles need servicing for quality service you can trust visit your big utah big o tires the team you trust eric butler in the ksl traffic center 73 for a high today with some clouds and right now it's 54 downtown you're listening to utah's morning news with tim hughes and amanda dixon on ksl news radio 102.7 fm and 1160 a.m good morning ksl news time 6 30 KSL's top story this hour. Drones have been causing tensions in Utah neighborhoods for the last few years. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is live with the latest. Eric? Amanda, I've been tracking the most recent incidents where drones are involved locally. Uh, Like in Ogden late last year, a man was shot and killed by a drone operator who flew his drone to investigate a dispute in his neighborhood. And when it crashed into a tree and the victim was holding the drone, the pilot of that drone shot the man seven times, killing him. He's now being charged with multiple felonies. And then this week, reports of a drone peeping through windows of homes in a Draper neighborhood. Uh, Draper police say a drone was hovering window to window between uh, multiple homes in a Draper neighborhood, but were unsuccessful in finding the drone or the operator, leaving residents worried. Uh, police say it was similar to a drone spotted also going to window window to window outside of a Draper hotel. 
Please advise anyone who sees questionable drone activity to please report it to your local departments. Reporting live, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. A new proposal in the Alpine School District would consolidate special education courses for students, but it would also require some students to switch schools and attend one outside of their boundaries. KSL TV's Debbie Worthen reports that many parents, like Miranda Parsons, are not happy. The changes are meant to build community for kids and to stop all the shuffling around. In theory, that sounds great, but you're taking them away from everything that they already know. Away from friends, siblings, and neighborhood kids who go to school together. Other parents say their kids have already hit major milestones at the school they already attend. If you fought for beach space at Bear Lake or missed out on a good space for your RV, you could soon be in luck. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with details. Peter? Amanda, Utah and Idaho are pouring millions of dollars into expansions of Bear Lake recreation space. On the Idaho side, that looks like 30 extra acres of beach, and on the Utah side, that means dozens of new RV campsites complete with electrical and water hookups. KSL TV reports it will soon be easier to put some Bear Lake miles on your boat, too, since Utah will put up $60 million bucks for a new marina. As for the reason behind these expansions, park employees tell KSL TV this will make room for the growing number of people coming every year. One report shows that in 2021 alone, there were over a million visits to the park that generated $54 million in economic impact. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Manager for Bear Lake Park on the Idaho side, Andrew Stokes, tells KSL-TV that he's excited to have more visitors. One of the toughest parts about this job is, is turning those families away that want to come play at the beach. Stokes says their goal is to disperse the increased recreation across the entire park. KSL's top national stories. Now hundreds of thousands are waking up without power as the storm moves through the northeast and thousands of flights have been canceled. ABC News' Gio Benitez has more. A powerful nor'easter slamming the east coast, creating a dangerous morning commute for millions. More than 100,000 customers without power across the northeast. Winds up to 64 miles per hour, knocking down trees and power lines in places like Connecticut. 23 flights have been delayed into and out of the Salt Lake Airport. KSL meteorologist Matt Johnson says we've got a storm of our own that's working its way into the West Coast. Guess what that means? More warm before the storm in the state of Utah. Mostly sunny skies today, highs in the mid-70s, and breezy out of the south. For tomorrow, we'll pick up on some showers, maybe as early as the morning hours. We'll be cooler into the 50s and breezy again. Some of those winds could reach 60 miles an hour. We're likely to see snow and rain over the weekend. FAA investigators opened another close call investigation. ABC's Lionel Moise. The incident taking place at New York's LaGuardia Airport late last month. The FAA says severe weather, including high wind shear, forced a plane to veer off course while landing. On its second attempt, the flight path shows the plane coming extremely close to the control tower. The FAA now investigating whether the plane actually flew over the tower. A New York Times investigation from last year found that close calls were happening multiple times per week. Sounds like we've got emergency traffic out there. Let's get a first look with Andy. And it's North 15 in American Fork. At the moment, they're not letting any traffic get up to the Pioneer Crossing exit. So there's a bunch of traffic coming to a stop between 500 East and and where the temporary closure is, even when they reopen it, it looks like it'll have the uh, Pioneer Crossing exit blocked off of North 15. This one looks pretty serious, so if you're heading uh, north, you may, well, you better exit at 500 East at the latest, or you're going to have to wait quite a bit. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. An event designed to usher in spring and new beginnings from a unique indigenous perspective is happening on Saturday. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson. The Indigenous Culture and Wellness Spring Gathering begins at 9 a.m. in the Canyon Room at the Natural History Museum of Utah. Indigenous Health and Wellness Connections is part with the Natural History Museum of Utah and the Urban Indian Center of Salt Lake City to foster health and wellness while celebrating Indigenous cultures. There will be a bear dance demonstration, a community run, walk, hike, and booths from leading running gear brands and native-led organizations and community health resources. Mark Jackson, KSL. KSL News Radio. The way faith and religion is portrayed in media can have a real world effect. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live to explain. Michael? Tim, we're looking at the findings of a study done by the Faith and Media Initiative with consumer experience specialist Harris X. Out of 10,000 respondents, 43% say media's current approach to portraying religion creates unease and anxiety. This was then quoted by Deseret Management Sherry Dew at a lecture at BYU, according to the Deseret News. She says BYU students should lead the charge in developing storytellers who can portray faith and religion in a way where people can learn something new and then find common ground. 
Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. Wow, we have emergency traffic this morning. I-15 traffic is stopped northbound at Pioneer Crossing, the exit in American Fork. A serious crash there. We'll check it next. Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon, or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. Devotion to country, service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat, watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican, Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Oren Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, deeply committed to religious liberty, rock-solid Utah conservative. Brent Oren Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us Advertising used to be simple. Your options were radio, TV, newspaper, and let's not forget the yellow pages. Now it seems like a tidal wave of options. Podcast, cable TV, streaming, OTT, CTV, audio network, smart speakers. On top of that, you need digital marketing for your website along with SEM, SEO, display, video, YouTube, email, and all the social media platforms. Look, you're the expert in your business. Wouldn't it be nice to have an expert to market you? We are Bonneville Salt Lake, the local marketing and media company you know and trust. We reach customers across all digital and social platforms and have the reach of traditional advertising available as well. We find your customer anytime, any place, anywhere, on any device here in Utah or anywhere in the world. We work to optimize your results with our in-house local team of experts, providing you with qualified leads, not just impressions. Contact Stephanie Palmer at KSL for a free consultation including a complete digital audit with no obligation or cost to you email s palmer at ksl.com that's s palmer at ksl.com boy northbound i-15 american fort completely uh, blocked off let's get right to it here it's emergency traffic and it's brought to you by uh, sinclair's dino pay app save up to 20 cents a gallon andy it's a pretty serious crash on i-15 to where they've stopped traffic on the freeway here for about uh, 15 minutes so far as they set up for what's going to be a lane restriction, probably, I would guess, through the rest of the morning drive. Uh, it's only going to be the two left lanes and the HOV lane when they do let traffic go, which right now is backed up about a mile and a half to the uh, 500 East exit. People coming up from Pleasant Grove, uh, probably wise to exit off at 500 East and take the city streets uh, up into Lehigh before you get back on I-15. Heather? Drivers in Tooele County are having a pretty messy drive right now. SR 36 is pretty much at a crawl as you come out of Stansbury Park all the way up to I-80 merge. And then as you head east for about a mile toward the 201 turnoff, you'll also have stop and go traffic. It's due to a crash still over blocking the right shoulder, but everybody's getting out of the right lane as they're supposed to do by law. Eric. Got a city, city street crash in Ogden is still being cleaned up. This is westbound on 12th Street approaching the Washington Boulevard intersection. The right lane is closed, so uh, you might uh, have a couple extra seconds to try to get through there, but uh, I-15 looks good once you get on the freeway in Ogden to downtown Salt Lake City. If you're going to do the whole stretch, that's about a 30-minute drive. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance, where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or or on Fifth South and Bountiful, Durden's Branch and Newark prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. As our weekend storm punches into the West Coast, that puts us under southerly flow, bumping the temperatures to 73, mostly sunny, breezy out of the south. Overnight, only 50 degrees is what we get. A 58 tomorrow with a chance for showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 55 degrees in Salt Lake City. There were some Utahns who were in Taiwan when that big earthquake hit this week. We'll hear from them just ahead on KSL. First, though, it's time for Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, and it's brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. We have a couple nice days here. Guys, perfect night to fire up the grill. And I mention guys because in 85% of American households, it's the male holding the spatula. The man is the grill master. But why? 
It's not a caveman thing. Eons ago, those handsome fellas would bring home the kill and the cave ladies would do the cooking. Some theorize men learned to grill out of necessity on the battlefield. Sounds manly enough, but truth is, cooking was considered women's work till the 1920s. Enter Henry Ford, who had sawdust and wood scraps all over the floor of his car factories, so he did a deal to turn the sawdust into charcoal briquettes. Next, he started selling grills and charcoal along with his cars. Cars bought almost always by men who go home and get to play with fire. By the 1950s, the male of the species was lord of the barbecue, as explained over a backyard grill on Leave it to Beaver. Whenever we cook inside, Mom always does the cooking. But whenever we cook outside, you always do it. How come? Well, it's sort of traditional, I guess. Uh, you know, they say a woman's place is in the home, and uh, I suppose as long as she's in the home, she might as well be in the kitchen. Now, don't shoot the messenger. But some historians say that in the kitchen, women cooked using ovens with thermostats. The recipes were precise, 350 degrees for 20 minutes, like that. But out back, it was like the jungle. No thermostat. Cooking by looking? Uh, that looks about done. Better to be in the kitchen preparing side dishes and desserts. Now, the historians who explain this are men who are slowly ceding the tongs to their mates. An Ipsos survey shows that over the last five years, the number of women serving as family grill masters has doubled to 34%. All you beleaguered American males who think the world is closing in on you, they're coming for your tongs. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. IRS harassing you? The law offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit taxhelput.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, then the economy crashed. I was out of work. Combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected, and I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something. Never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Start your hardscape project with Geneva Rocks Ready Mix Concrete. Ideal for patios, driveways, and sheds. Geneva Rocks Ready Mix Concrete is rock solid. Visit GenevaRock.com slash DIY. KSL News Time 645. The three things you need to know this hour. First. And the award for the top dogs goes to... The Taylorsville Police Department. I'm KSL News Radio's Don Prinkerhoff. Second, four people are injured after a wrong way crash near the Utah Arizona border. Third, a look at traffic and weather together. They are now letting three lanes go by to the left of this crash in American Fork on northbound 15. It's the HOV in the two left lanes, but if you're coming up through Pleasant Grove and American Fork, probably better off exiting at Pleasant Grove or 500 East rather than waiting out all the delays and trying to get back to the freeway. And then we still have big delays out of Tooele County on I-80 because of a crash. I'm Andy Farns within the KSL Traffic Center. Warm south winds today, bumping temperatures to 73. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 55 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Brian Clark. President Biden said he was outraged and heartbroken over the deaths of seven World Central Kitchen aid workers in an Israeli strike in Gaza. Today, he's scheduled to speak with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, says ABC's Mary Bruce at the White House. President Biden's sharp condemnation has not been met by any change in U.S. policy. He has been resisting calls to put limits or conditions on the weapons that the U.S. sends to Israel to fight this war, something critics say is contradictory and hypocritical. The big question now, will the president change course? Will these deadly strikes be a breaking point? Secretary of State Antony Blinken's in Brussels with other foreign ministers as they marked 75 years of NATO. The northeastern U.S. hit hard by a nor'easter that's dumping snow in New England. The storm's responsible for more than 500,000 power outages ranging from West Virginia to Maine. This is ABC News. Let's go in depth here because we're hearing from some Utahns who were in Taiwan uh, during that 7.4 magnitude earthquake. A Utah named Aubrey shared her experience with KSL TV. These light fixtures above our bed that were just taking like crazy. 
A group of local high schoolers was also in Taiwan. KSL TV's Lauren Steinbrecher met with them and learned how they were affected by their unforgettable spring break shakeup. I can see it. On a dream spring break experience. Yep, and we've got beautiful mountains behind us. Having the time of their lives. Taiwan is an amazing place. Love it here. Wonder, yeah. Wonderful people, wonderful people. The group of 20 from the Chinese Dual Immersion Program at Green Canyon High School in Cache Valley has seen so many highlights. We went to the Taroko Gorge on Monday and really, really enjoyed it. On Wednesday, the magnitude 7.4 earthquake hit. I was sitting there and it felt like the floor was moving again. And then I looked and like everybody else was feeling it too. Some of the items on the walls are starting to shift a little. And then we got on our phones, we started to get Amber Alerts of tsunami warning. The students and parents say the quake wasn't as strong in the southeast where they're at now, but they soon realized the devastation it caused where they had just visited two days prior, including Taroko Gorge, where people died. I can't imagine you're sitting here enjoying it. You know, it could have been us, could have been anybody. They've been checking in on friends they've made around the country. Oh my gosh, I just met this kid a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It affected him personally. As these high school students take away a spring break experience they'll never forget. There is a there is a community feeling on the island it feels like that people are making sure that everyone's okay. People come together in a crisis. Yeah. Yeah. To give you context of how strong the shaking was, it was a hundred times stronger than the earthquake we had in Magna four years ago. Yeah. That's not, hard to imagine. That's something I'd want to experience here for mm, sure. Yeah. Uh, but, boy, that does put an end to perspective this morning. We've got some real problems on the roads out there this morning. Let's get a look at traffic and weather together here at 649. It's emergency traffic brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. And, Andy, I just saw somebody, and we often see this on the cameras, backing down one of the on-ramps. That can get you into some real trouble. Yeah, it's really unsafe. I understand the frustration of not wanting to wait in the delay, but they are moving on the freeway now, so it's going to be only three lanes of the six that you would normally have going through um, Pioneer Crossing in American Fork. And the uh, Pioneer Crossing exit also appears to be uh, uh, blocked off as well. So uh, 500 East, your last place to exit. I would pr uh, probably exit at the uh, Pi Pleasant Grove exit just because uh, you can go up to that at the full speed limit. And then at this point, the State Street uh, alternate route hasn't backed up too much. Heather? We're starting to see delays in the Salt Lake Valley on Bangor Highway and Mountain View Corridor. Both of those delays are northbound through West Valley City. It's typical this time of the morning. But our worst delays are out in Tooele County. That's on SR 36, just after you pass Pole Canyon Road coming out of Stansbury Park, all the way up to I-80 and about a mile past the I-80 merge. That's due to a crash still blocking the right shoulder. Eric? Got a little bit of extra volume now over on 200 North as you work your Away from uh, 8 US 89 out in uh, Leighton and Kaysville and head uh, west over to the freeway. But no big problems in uh, Weaver or Davis counties right now, southbound from Ogden to downtown Salt Lake City. Should be a pretty normal drive. The best kept secret is this is the place. It's a place for everyone. Now through April 30th, save $20 off every annual pass level. 362 days of fun. Visit thisistheplace.com. Eric Butler, KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast, even warmer than yesterday. Going for 73 with a dry south breeze today, mostly clear skies. 58 tomorrow with a chance for showers, a little bit cooler. We're also noticing breezy winds. 44, that's all you get on Saturday. Rain, snow, showers, even for the valley. Mostly cloudy skies on Sunday, 48. 51, partly cloudy on Monday, Tuesday, we're back up to 57 sunny skies, high pressure in the area on Wednesday, 63 with ample sunshine. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 55 degrees and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We're going to get a look at money here in just a minute. I'm looking at gold, which is down about $12.70 an ounce right now. But this headline caught my attention, Amanda. It says a veteran strategist says, grab your hammer and pick. Gold is headed to three thousand dollars an ounce. Holy cow! And we're at uh, what twenty twenty three hundred dollars and three uh, yeah twenty three oh three right now. So mm. anyway, something to watch, <laughs> and uh, we'll check and see what the markets look like with futures coming up here in just a minute. Introducing Peach Doors and Windows. Are you ready to upgrade your home with stunning new windows but are overwhelmed with how to begin? Look no further than Peach Windows. You know what Peach 
they are all about giving you options. Peach offers a wide selection of wood windows, sleek modern black metal frames, European tilt and turn windows, plus much, much more. It's not just about looks, it's about durability and security to protect what matters most. Let them help you find the perfect match for your home, budget, and personal style. Visit their showroom and see for yourself. No pushy sales tactics, only guidance from their experienced staff. No inflated markups just to offer so-called discounts. See their five-star reviews where customers rate them on their attention to detail through every step of the sale and installation process. Amazing home transformations begin with windows and doors. Serving Logan to St. George, just Google Peach Building to see for yourself. Here at IFA Country Stores, we're celebrating 101 years in the Intermountain West with our 101 Ways to Grow sale, featuring three unique sales in three weeks. From April 1st to 7th, home in on deals to grow your homestead. IFA's got spring farm specials on the things you need to grow everything from gardens and grass to flocks and four-legged friends. Visit your local IFA or shop ifacountrystores.com for details. Fabulous farm specials April 1st to 7th, only at IFA. When it comes to your electrical system, do you know the warning signs to look for? What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and it's okay if you don't know, but here are a few things that you might not even realize could be a sign of a bigger problem. Wall plate that are hot to the touch, discoloration around switches or outlets, if you hear crackling or popping or buzzing around switches or outlets, a breaker that trips a lot, switches that feel loose when you operate them, if your lights dim or flicker when a major appliance comes on, if your plugs fall out of the wall easily. You know, you're not supposed to have to bend the prongs out on a plug just to get it to stay in the wall. If you notice any of these things, you should consider having a licensed electrician check your system out. If you don't know anyone, Any Hour Services has put together a radio-only special for any homeowners listening. One of our licensed electricians will perform a comprehensive electrical inspection and give you a full written report for only $29. But you have to mention this ad when you call. To schedule your comprehensive electrical inspection by a licensed electrician for only $29, call Any Hour Services at 801-443-7300. That's 801-443-7300. Any Hour Services. We have emergency traffic this morning sponsored by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Any better at all, Andy? Uh, no. In fact, uh, there's only... Th well, okay. It's better than when the freeway was completely blocked, but they've got three lanes open, and as volumes uh, increase on the freeway, the delays have now stretched back about uh, two and a half miles to the Pleasant Grove exit, and soon they will be going back towards Linden and uh, Orem. Uh, but for now, you can still exit the freeway at Pleasant Grove without having to have slowed down on I-15, but if you pass that, you're stuck in the backups. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. All right, let's take a look at Utah's money here, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Women's NCAA basketball ticket prices are now averaging more than twice the cost of men's on the <laughs> secondary market. Uh, Logitix, which is a company that uh, analyzes prices, says that women's tickets have averaged more than $2,300 for the past couple of days. For the men's Final Four, the number is about a grand. You can thank Caitlin Clark for that spike. Ticket prices have been surging since Iowa beat Louisiana State on Monday. That game tomorrow night is going to be oh awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and watch the point guards. Uh, yeah. The little guard from UConn is really something, too. Paige, mm, I'm not sure of the last name. Yeah. But Paige and Caitlin going to be going at it. Chase Bank says it's launching a new way for brands to market directly to people based on their spending history. The bank says a new division will bring its 80 million customers targeted deals and discounts. The deals will be personalized to customers who will have the option to activate the promotions on the app or on the bank's website. The uh, market's on a pretty good run in the right direction, too. We're up uh, 163 right now, about four tenths on the Dow. The S&P is up by a half a percentage point. The Nasdaq on the plus side now by 121. Northbound I-15 in American Fork is a mess. We'll check it next on KSL. For fabulous food, atmosphere, and tradition, Five Alls Restaurant offers memorable dining for any occasion. Birthdays, anniversaries, proms, graduation, engagement, and more. FiveAlls.com. Derek Overstreet, founder of the New Millennium Group. We're a financial planning firm. Listen, we're fiduciaries. We have advisors standing by right now to take your call. That's 888-999-6370. 888-999-6370. The reason you're going to want to call is we're going to help you retire three to five years before you thought possible. Now, imagine how that would be if you could actually retire three to five years sooner than your plan was. The way we do this is by putting together a step-by-step -step plan 
taking into consideration any rental properties that you have, any pension income that you have, your social security. Listen, we put that all together for you in writing. It will allow us to to build your income based on inflation. You know, inflation has been rapidly rising. You and I both need a plan that whatever we start out our income at, in five or 10 years, we're going to need 40% more income. So if you're one of those people listening and you'd like a plan in writing, give us a call at 888-999-6370. That's 888-999-6370 or go to utahsfinancialplanner.com. Email from school about the incident today. Scary. You know, teachers like me, parents, we don't always know as much as you guys do about what's going on with other kids. Half the time, it's rumors. Yeah, but if you're ever concerned about a friend who's having trouble with alcohol, prescription drugs, anything, you need to tell an adult, someone you know and trust. That can be hard, but speaking up about a problem is what helping a friend is all about. For more information, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. KSL offers the best daily newsletter in the state. It's the three things you need to know. Every weekday, we deliver quality and relevant content to your inbox. No ads, no spam, just the three things you need to know to be informed about the world around you. Subscribe today. Visit kslnewsradio.com or text the word INBOX to 57500. That's INBOX to 57500. Emergency traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, North 15. You'll want to avoid it if you can between Pleasant Grove and American Fork. It's at a stop because of a, a pretty bad crash at the Pioneer Crossing exit. Only the three left lanes of the freeway are open and the exit ramp. Actually, I think people might actually be able to use the exit ramp, but you have to loop all the way around the uh, crash in order to get off the freeway there. But the slowing goes back all the way to Pleasant Grove and State Street beginning to back up as people are starting to use that as an alternate through Pleasant Grove. Heather? We're just hearing of a rollover crash on the scanners. This is on Bangor Highway northbound at 4100 South. There's already slowdowns just before you get to that area anyway due to construction and lane restrictions. And then coming out of Tooele County, you're still at a crawl on SR 36 as you come out of Stansbury Park from Pole Canyon Road all the way up to I-80. Eric? Southbound out of Ogden, I-15 looks just fine right now. If you're heading into the mountains, I-80 looks good out to Park City. Right now, you don't have the delays westbound and Kearns Boulevard from US-40 into Park City, as we often see this time of the morning, so maybe it'll stay that way. Is it winter? Is it spring? Who cares? Come explore Logan. Baby Animal Days Festival is happening now through April 6th. Mountain Man Rendezvous, live performances, skiing, snowmobiling, and more. ExploreLogan.com. Eric Butler in KSL Traffic Center. Warmest day day of the year coming this afternoon, but it's going to be breezy as that storm front starts to come our way. 73 for a high. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 7 o'clock on Utah's Morning News. Good morning, I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story on the 7 o'clock report. One person is dead in American Fork on I-15 this morning. KSL News Radio's Jessica Lowell is live with the details. Jessica? Yeah, Amanda, Utah Highway Patrol says someone was changing their tire when they were hit by another driver on I-15 at the Pioneer Crossing exit in Utah County. Police say the driver stayed on scene and is cooperating with police. Four lanes of northbound I-15 are currently closed, and UHP says they'll be on the scene investigating for at least three hours. Reporting live, Jessica Lowell, KSL News Radio. Because of that, obviously, it's been a big mess on the freeway. Let's get a, a quick look at emergency traffic here, Andy. Yeah, you can imagine the impact from that. Pretty bad on the freeway right now. Only the HOV and two left lanes are open, and the backups go all the way past the Pleasant Grove exit. It'll be back to Linden before too long. So those of you who head north through Utah County, think about alternate. State Street's the main one, but if you know a good one, uh, maybe take it today. There's unfortunately not a ton of options because the lake's right there on the uh, west side of the freeway. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Two people are in the hospital after an overnight shooting in a Murray parking lot. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera joins us live with details. Eric? Amanda, it's cotton candy colored skies right now with the sun coming up, and it's business as usual here at the EOS Fitness in Murray. 
parking lot full of gym goers this morning. But sadly, it was a much different scene last night where I stand. Around 10.44 p.m., police responded to reports of shots fired. They found two people, one female and one male, hit by that gunfire and were transported to Intermountain Medical Center in critical but stable condition. I tried speaking with staff just now, but they are remaining tight-lipped. But KSL TV did speak with a witness last night who described what she saw. When I came out, she was laying on the ground and she'd obviously been super wounded. The only thing that we were hearing was that we didn't know where the shooter was. And some people had thought they ran in, some people thought they ran out. Uh, EOS fitness staff are directing me to corporate to try and get a statement and more details from the incident. Uh, I'm going to hound Murray PD as well for any updates I can get. Reporting live from Murray, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. A few people in Salt Lake City are being asked to remove their artificial turf or face some serious fines. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has that story. Troy Villopondo is angry that a civil enforcement officer is asking him and one of his neighbors to rip out their turf by April 25th, especially when other places in the city have artificial grass. While they aren't in charge of enforcement, the city's public utilities department says turf might not be as good for the environment as people think. They say it contains chemicals and microplastics that run off into the water when we have rain. The city code says turf shouldn't cover more than 35% of someone's yard. Utah's Olympic Committee has selected 13 possible locations for the 2034 Winter Games. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with more. Peter? Amanda, I'm at the Salt Palace, which State Olympic Committee leaders have announced is going to be the Information Nerve Center for the 2034 Games. They also announced a future baseball stadium could host big air competitions and medal ceremonies, while Snow Basic could get carved up with slalom skiers, according to the Deseret News. These are just a few of the pins Olympic officials have put on the tentative map for the 2034 Games, and an international Olympic Committee members will be touching down in Utah on Tuesday to tour these and other venues. Other possible event locations include Park City Resort and the parking lot just northeast of the Delta Center. You can find a full list of these on kslnewsradio.com. But for now, reporting from the place that hopefully I'll be able to be in 2034, Salt Palace, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. You know, the other thing about the Salt Palace is uh, curling's going to be moving yeah. from a small venue in uh, Davis County down to the Salt Palace so that more people can enjoy Won't it. Won't that be fun? Because we sold out curling last time, didn't we? You could not get a ticket yeah. back in 2002. KSL's top national stories this hour. U.S. officials are ringing the warning bells on the escalation of tension in the Middle East. ABC's Christiane Cordero has more. Iran's Supreme Leader warning, with God's help, we will make the Zionists repent of their crime of aggression against the Iranian consulate in Damascus. The top U.S. Air Force official in the Middle East is sharing growing concerns about tensions in the region, saying the war in Gaza is a destabilizing effect and it allows malign actors like the Iranians to take advantage of that situation. Iran vows to retaliate against Israel's deadly strike on their consulate in Syria earlier this week. Ten people in Taiwan have been killed and more than 1,000 injured after the earthquake. ABC's Joyce Wong is in Taipei on what else has been affected. Yesterday's earthquake also caused several of Taiwan's chipmakers, including TSMC, the world's largest, to suspend their operation. TSMC said that after the quake hit early Wednesday morning, it rushed to evacuate employees in some of its facilities at the Science Park in Xinzhou of northern Taiwan to ensure their safety. Joyce Huang, ABC News, Taipei, Taiwan. A group of Utah high schoolers were in Taiwan when that quake hit and shared their experience with KSL TV. Junior Zachary Barris says the group were in the hardest hit areas only days before. I can't imagine you're sitting here enjoying it. You know, it could have been us, could have been anybody. It was a spring break trip for the group they'll never forget. First look traffic is emergency traffic on the 7 o'clock report, and here's Andy Farnsworth. And it's Utah County, only three lanes of the freeway open, four blocked at Pioneer Crossing in American Fork. The exit ramp is open if you can get to it, but it's going to be a long wait. To do that with uh, slowdown starting uh, midway through Pleasant Grove all the way up to American Fork. We've also still got big delays, SR-36 in Tooele County to get to I-80 because of a crash just after you merge on from SR-36. We had a report of a crash on Bangator at around 4100 South. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center.
A dairy worker in Texas is believed to have been infected by livestock that were also infected with bird flu. Sony Salzman with ABC's medical unit says the risk to the general population remains low. It can be highly contagious. It evolves rapidly, just like our flu that circulates in our populations. There have been some instances of people getting infected with bird flu, but typically it's people who work with poultry, work with animals. The illness can spread quickly in flocks and herds of animals. The patient at the center of a pioneering transplant operation is headed home from Mass General Hospital. Rick Slayman, the first living person to receive a genetically edited pig kidney, is beginning his new life. After nearly three weeks of recovery, the 62-year-old is thanking his doctors and nurses, saying this moment, leaving the hospital today with one of the cleanest bills of health I've had in a long time is one I wished would come for many years. Now it's a reality. ABC's Lionel Moise reporting. The Taylorsville Police Department can truly say that they got the top dogs. Three handlers and their canine partners recently returned from a competition in Las Vegas. They set up building search scenarios for both humans and narcotics, and then area searches for humans and vehicle drug sniffs. Taylorsville Canine Sergeant Jacob Palmer says after the two-day event, they came home with the competition's top agency award. We're competing against teams from California and Nevada that had four to six different dog teams working. He says the award goes to the agency whose canine teams had the highest overall scores in all categories. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. Another pair of dogs got into some trouble. Police escorted two lost huskies off I-15. Oh no, we're just hearing about the incident that happened last month. Troopers had to block off traffic near Pleasant Grove Boulevard on March 17th. It happened about nine o'clock p.m. as the two dogs were playing a game of runaway. Uh Uh-oh. Police were able to corner the dogs near a gated area and return them to their owner. One more dog note this morning. The only surviving dog from Weber County Animal Services Parvo outbreak is making a slow and steady recovery. Everybody's got eyes on Oliver. (laughs) A medium-sized mixed-breed dog was one of four dogs who got sick with the virus. He's currently at the Mountain West Veterinary Specialist getting uh, better day by day. The shelter says his hospital bill was paid by donations. Uh, The shelter has four confirmed cases of Parvo, but is quarantining the dogs right now and has put adoptions on hold until April 10th. 709 means uh, emergency traffic here, brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. We now know, unfortunately, Andy, that was uh, a fatal incident. Someone who was changing a tire was hit by another car. Yeah, it's heartbreaking, and uh, that's what the, it's going to be on. The, the, we're going to have lanes blocked on the freeway for a while yet, probably through the rest of morning drive for sure. The delays are already backing up halfway between uh, 1600 North Orem and Pleasant Grove. That's where they start. And then they go for that three-mile bumper-to-bumper travel all the way up to uh, where you pass the crash site. Now, a tiny bit of good news is they have reopened another lane. So now we have four main flow lanes and the HOV lane open near the crash. And you can exit the freeway now at Pioneer Crossing. So uh, that will help a little bit. But we're also getting to the point of the commute where the volumes are going to increase. So plan on it being backed up on the freeway from Orem all the way to American Fork and start thinking about alternate routes and being patient either way. Heather? The delays are getting worse for Tooele County drivers on SR36. You'll be in stop traffic now right at Stansbury Parkway all the way up to the merge onto eastbound I-80. That is due to a crash on I-80, which is about half a mile or so after that merge. It's blocking the right shoulder, but by law, everybody's supposed to be moving over to the left, and so that's what's causing the big delays there. You do have a pretty good drive in Salt Lake County on I-15 and the 201 freeway, but you'll see slowdowns both on Bangor Highway and Mountain View Corridor heading north toward the 201. Eric. In Ogden, they, the crash of uh, is still being cleaned up. Uh, this is over on 12th Street uh, for westbounders approaching Washington. Uh, you've got the right lane blocked off and it has been blocked off for some time now. We don't see any big delays going through there. And uh, fortunately, once you get on the freeway and head south uh, through Weaver and Davis counties, all of it looks good to downtown Salt Lake. Uh, heading into the mountains, I-80 looks good going out to Park City. Is the IR arrest harassing you? Are tax problems ruining your life? Let Utah Tax Attorney Jordan Wilcox help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Eric Butler in KSL Traffic Center. KSL hourly forecast starting out with some very mild temperatures. You'll notice it out there this morning at 7 a.m. with temperatures in the low to mid 50s, partly cloudy skies. We keep some clouds around through the lunch hour, temperatures in the mid 60s, but breezy out of the south. 
We'll keep it windy for this afternoon. That'll elevate temperatures to around 73 degrees. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Salt Lake City, 54 degrees. It might be a tense phone call between uh, President Biden and Prime Minister Netanyahu t- today. You think? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. We'll talk more about that with Karen Travers just ahead. A new exhibit at the Hogle Zoo will feature Utah's diverse wildlife. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit has more details. Michael? Tim, it's called the Aline W. Skaggs Wild Utah, and you'll get the chance to see cougars, badgers, bobcats, and bighorn sheep, among many others, including traveling ambassador animals. There's also going to be outdoor spaces to learn about Utah's nature and wildlife, as well as a classroom for conservation and activities where guests can build seed pots, bird houses, or hummingbird feeders. Seems like a lot of fun. Still, in case you're curious, the price tag for this new exhibit came in at $22 million. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. A hitchhiking frog has found a new home in Salt Lake City. A Cuban tree frog made its way to a wholesale warehouse by getting a ride on a bunch of bananas. The Division of Wildlife Resources says employees at the warehouse called them to pick it up, which was the right thing to do. This species of frog is a known hitchhiker, loves tropical plants. <laughs> One, It's a known hitchhiker. Mm. One of the biologists is keeping it as a pet but warns the average person not to do that. If it escapes or is released into Utah wildlife, it could cause ecological issues. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, here's another story getting a lot of attention right now. Rescuers are coming up with a plan to free a two-and-a-half-year-old Biggs killer whale calf. That's uh, stranded in a lagoon off of Vancouver Island. Paul Cottrell is with the Fisheries and Oceans Canada. The mom and calf actually entered a tidal lagoon, not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before. And unfortunately, the mom ended up on a sandbar and actually um, unfortunately died. It's always uh, amazing how this catches attention all over the world. It's uh, the same sandbar that when the tide is high enough, the calf needs to swim over to get out of the lagoon. Rescuers removed the mom's remains, hoping the calf would follow. Uh, over the sandbar, but the calf did not. They're monitoring the condition of the calf on a daily basis to determine how quickly they uh, might need to mount a rescue if the whale doesn't leave the lagoon on its own. Trending this hour on the 7 o'clock report, if you want to hear Taylor Swift all the time on the radio, you're in luck. Sirius XM has announced a new Taylor Swift channel. It's called Channel 13, Taylor's Version. The limited time channel will go live on April 7th. All Taylor, all the time. (laughs) Rock and roll never dies. The band Kiss sold their catalog, a brand name and IP, in a $300 million deal. The band sold it to a Swedish company, Pop House Entertainment Group, that previously teamed up with the company to create digital avatars of themselves. Pop House says you can expect a biopic documentary and Kiss experience in the near future. KSL News Time, 715. The three things you need to know this hour... First, one person is dead in a crash on a uh, near American Fork on I-15 this morning. Second, we also are aware of two people in the hospital this morning after an overnight shooting in a Murray parking lot. Third, a look at that drive right now. Traffic and weather together. Two areas where you're going to need a lot of patience. North 15 going from Pleasant Grove up into American Fork because of a crash. And then one a crash on I-80 right after the Tooele merge from Lake Point has SR-36 backed all the way to Stansbury Park. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Winds kick up out of the south from an approaching storm. I'm Matt Johnson. And right now it's 54 degrees here at KSL News Radio and the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's get a check of our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Brian Clark. Monday strike that killed seven aid workers in Gaza has drawn widespread condemnation from around the world. World Central Kitchen founder Jose Andres says he believes the organization was targeted. President Biden said he's outraged. Could this mean a change in the relationship between the U.S. and Israel? ABC's Mary Bruce at the White House says the president will speak with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today. President Biden's sharp condemnation has not been met by any change in U.S. policy. He has been resisting calls to put limits or conditions on the weapons that the U.S. sends to Israel to fight this war, something critics say is contradictory and hypocritical. The big question now, will the president change course? Will these deadly strikes 
be a breaking point. A different conflict in the spotlight in Brussels, where Secretary of State Antony Blinken marked the 75th anniversary of NATO, but ABC's Tom Rivers of the Foreign Desk says that meeting is not ceremonial. The theme of the gathering from NATO Chief Stoltenberg. How to strengthen NATO support for Ukraine. Topping Kiev's wish list according to their foreign minister. It makes sense to deploy more Patriot systems to Ukraine to defend the skies. One thing Britain's foreign secretary stresses they won't be getting is NATO boots on the ground. The American Cancer Society says it expects cancer cases will rise to 35 million people worldwide in the next 25 years. The American Cancer Society reports physicians diagnosed 20 million cancer cases in 2022 and nearly 10 million died around the world. They expect that number to reach 35 million by 2050. That prediction based on just an aging population. But the study's authors say the numbers will likely be even worse with continued unhealthy diets, physical inactivity, and heavy drinking and smoking in some societies. It's ABC's Andy Field. The number of Americans applying for jobless levels went up slightly last week, but still at historically low levels. You're listening to ABC News. Let's go in depth here. President Biden expected to have a very tense phone call with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Biden has expressed anger, as we just heard, over the deaths of seven aid workers in an Israeli airstrike. ABC's White House correspondent Karen Travers joins us live with the latest. Are are people surprised they're even talking, considering what the president just said? You know, no, I think that they uh, have been trying to have more regular communications. They talked two and a half weeks ago, and that, by all accounts from the White House and, and officials we talked to, was a tough conversation, too. You know, remember, we talked about this at the time. I had asked the national security advisor if that was the come to Jesus conversation that the president had said he needed to have with Netanyahu. And they said, we'll let you all interpret it and didn't say no. And now this is their follow up conversation to that. And of course, it comes after the death of those seven, eight workers in Gaza by the Israeli airstrikes. And we're told the president today is going to be direct. He is going to express his outrage and his frustration at those deaths. And, you know, he said in a statement earlier this week that Israel is not doing enough to protect civilians, including humanitarian aid workers. And that's going to be a big part of his message today during their phone call. Is there expectation that anything will come from this conversation? It's not clear there would be any significant changing of course. That's the big question. You know, is this going to be a breaking point or turning point in the relationship between the president and Netanyahu, the U.S. and Israel right now? But I think from all indications of what we've been hearing from officials this week on the record, that there will be no difference for the administration's policy. The White House is still resisting calls to put any conditions or limitations on the aid that the United States has sent to Israel, the weapons that have been sent over there and are being used in the fight against Hamas. And so while the president has put out these very strong rebukes and and strongly worded statements, in terms of the actual policy, there hasn't been a change. Are, Are people still working on a ceasefire or is that tabled for now? It is still ongoing. That is still the goal. There are conversations taking place uh, with key partners in the region to get to that point. The other big thing that's on the table still is, of course, the Israelis considering moving forward on a major military operation into Rafah to target Hamas there. And this is something that the administration has expressed very clearly, very bluntly, that they think would be a significant mistake and would cause more civilian deaths and make aid more difficult. The administration wanted to bring Israeli officials to D.C. last week. That meeting got canceled by the prime minister. They had a virtual conversation earlier this week that they're hoping now tees up an actual in-person conversation in Washington next week. But I wonder we'll see, if, you know, depending on how the phone call goes today, whether or not that meeting can go forward. Yeah. Why it's hard to imagine coming up this weekend, it'll be six months oh, man. Uh, that this has been ongoing. Karen, mm-hmm. thanks for your coverage. Uh, ABC News White House Corps Correspondent uh, Karen Travers joining us on the in depth at 15 to 45. 719, we have emergency traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, North 15, still jammed from Linden all the way up into American Fork. We still have uh, the right two lanes of the freeway blocked, but that does mean that we've got four main flow and HOV lanes open. That is helping a little bit. Uh, However, you're still going to be stuck in slowdowns for at least 20 minutes between Orem and American Fork, maybe longer. 
Uh, and then uh, once you get past it, you've got smooth sailing up into the Salt Lake Valley. Heather? Looks like it'll also take you an extra 15 or 20 minutes to get out of Tooele County this morning. SR 36 remains a parking lot from Stansbury Park all the way up to the I-80 merge. That is due to a crash still in the cleanup stages on I-80 eastbound just after you merge onto the freeway blocking the right shoulder. We also have a report of a crash on Bangor Highway near 4100 South, as well as downtown Salt Lake 600 North at 400 West. Those two crashes are not causing delays, however. Eric. Northbound on the 215 eastbound, looking good to, from Knudsen's Corner up to the mouth of Parley's Canyon and I-80 into the canyon in good shape this morning. If you're coming out of Ogden this morning, uh, I-15 is a uh, straight shot. No uh, accidents or delays as you go through Weaver and Davis counties all the way to downtown. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock Quartz Stone Sale. Starting at just $39 a foot, visit bedrockquartz.com. That's bedrockquartz.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic center ksl 7a forecast starts out with 70s 73 today with a warm dry south breeze mostly sunny skies 58 tomorrow will be breezy chance for showers into saturday how about rain snow showers even down to the valley floor with a high of only 44 degrees 48 mostly cloudy on sunday bumps up to 51 partly cloudy skies on monday tuesday wednesday next week we're upper 50s low 60s with high pressure building. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 55 degrees in Salt Lake City to start the morning and the seven day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Don't forget this weekend general conference for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We will carry all five sessions live. And if you've never listened live on the KSL News Radio app, it's super easy. Yeah. If it's not on your phone already, download it. It's it's a separate app from KSL.com. It's KSLnewsradio.com. And you can just hit the listen live button and listen live wherever you are. I actually do that while sitting in the sauna at the uh, uh, at the gym, Ugh. listening to Inside Sources, yeah. Inside the Sauna. <laughs> I'm sure Boyd doesn't want to know that, actually. Coming up in a minute, we'll check uh, money news here on KSL. Just ahead of the opening bell, looks like things are going well. This is Derek Miller speaking on business. Biz Social Marketing Agency is a full-service marketing and web design agency that helps businesses of all sizes grow their brands and reach new customers. Founder Jen Foster joins us with more. As the founder of Biz Social Marketing Agency, I understand the power of content creation in today's digital world. Our agency specializes in crafting compelling articles, blogs, and social media posts designed to elevate your business's online presence. The key to our strategy is creating content that not only engages your audience, but also enhances your visibility on Google and other major search engines. We recognize that in the vast ocean of the internet, standing out is critical for any business. That's where our expertise comes in. Our team works hard to ensure that your business's voice is not only heard, but also resonates with your target audience. By focusing on SEO-friendly content, we make sure that your business ranks higher in search results, driving more traffic to your website. Choose Biz Social Marketing Agency to help your business get found, get noticed, and grow. Get started at bizsocialmarketing.com. Whether you're looking for content creation, visibility, or web design services, Biz Social Marketing Agency is committed to helping your business make a lasting impact. Learn more at their website. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, speaking on business. One of the best ways to find out about three-day kitchen and bath is actually to hear the results for yourself. On the phone with us is Wendy in Darwin. Wendy, you got a brand new bathroom. I do, and it's beautiful. Are you loving it? I am absolutely loving it. Okay, tell me about your bathroom. It went from a dark room that felt like an absolute cave when I walked into it to a bright, airy, opened the space up. I mean, it. I, I don't know what else. It's just absolutely wonderful. See, it's just like... She's almost speechless. So, Darwin, tell me about all the man stuff. How did it work? The quality, the convenience, how did they do? Excellent. We contacted Three Day Bath, and they got back to us the next day. The communication was excellent. They were on time in all their promises, and it's beautiful. It's a great bathroom. Would you do it again? Oh, absolutely. For more about your new kitchen or bath, visit 3daykitchenutah.com. Three Day Kitchen and Bath. 
I love these new venue plans for the 2034 Olympics in Utah. How about a giant big air jump for ski and snowboard downtown? Also, how a Major League Baseball and hockey team would play into the new Olympic plans. Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Before we get to money news, a piece of breaking news. We just received the man accused of four separate international or intentional hit and run attacks in Salt Lake County is also being investigated now as a possible suspect in a Summit County hit and run. Summit County Sheriff's Office confirmed to KSL they're looking into on fam in connection with a hit and run near Park City back on March 5th. Watching Utah's Money Now, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. More people are going to concerts. Live Nation, the company that owns Ticketmaster, says 145 million people attended concerts, a 20% bump from the previous year. I bet you can guess who raked in the most revenue. Yeah, Taylor Swift. That's Taylor Swift, followed by Beyonce. You think inflation is bad here? Turkey's annual inflation was at, get this, 69% last month. Like the U.S., Tur- uh, Turkey's government has been raising interest rates. Their key rate went from 45% to 50% late last month. Wow. Turns out fewer people are writing wills. Only 32% of adults report having a will. The study suggests many people are worrying less about mortality since the end of the pandemic. I just noticed jobless claims were up to a nine-week high of 221,000. The markets uh, don't seem to be phased by it. If anything, they're encouraged. The Dow is up 218. The S&P is on the plus side by 35, which is about seven-tenths of a percent, and the NASDAQ is up 165. That slowing on northbound I-15 now extends through all of Linden and American Fork, up to a crash at the exit to Pioneer Crossing. We'll check it next on KSL. When you're a homeowner, you need to know someone who can help you when stuff goes wrong, because stuff goes wrong. I mean, you have leaky toilets, you have... You know, your water heater stops heating, your air conditioner breaks down, all the You need someone you can trust that when stuff goes wrong, as it will, and that company is Superior Water and Air. Yeah, because as my wife can tell you, when I try to fix things myself to save a little money, yeah. I end up making things worse and then cost more money down the road. General maintenance is something we rely on uh, a lot with Superior Water and Air, just to come out and make sure that those uh, incidents that you were just talking about don't happen because they can keep an eye on all those things, particularly this time of year with getting your air conditioner up and ready for the season. Make sure that you keep a phone number handy, 801-974-9090. Or you can go online to superiorwaterandair.com. Call Superior Water and Air. KSL looks forward with you to General Conference. Coverage starts Saturday at 930. It's the 194th Annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Hear sessions all weekend on your radio at 102.7 FM and on your phone on the app for KSL News Radio. This week's movie show brought to you by My Hearing Center. Schedule a hearing evaluation and be entered to win a set of premium hearing aids by tuning in Friday from 10 to 1. We have emergency traffic. Let's check it here at 729. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. How are we looking now, Andy? Well, we're uh, still in pretty rough shape trying to go from Orem up to American Fork, but with uh, Multiple, uh, you know what? They're taking away one of the three. The, they had three right lanes blocked. Then they dropped it to two, but now they're putting the cones back out. So we've got three left lanes and an HOV lane open, but traffic is backed up from just after the 1600 North on ramp in Orem, Linden, all the way up to Pioneer Crossing in American Fork. State Street uh, probably won't save you a lot of time, but it's not as backed up as it gets some days. But uh, still, between Pleasant Grove and American Fork, that's where State Street is at its worst as an alternate. Uh, Heather? It's a long, slow slog for people coming. Coming out of Tooele County on SR 36, you're going to be pretty much at a crawl from Stansbury Parkway heading north all the way to the I-80 merge. It's due to a crash where the police, the UHP troopers pulled away, but there's still a vehicle over on the right shoulder on I-80 eastbound just after you merge onto the freeway. In Utah County, in Salt Lake County, we still have some pretty good speeds on northbound I-15 from Point of the Mountain into downtown Salt Lake, but we've had a few crashes on city streets. Eric? Looks like the one crash we had that had lingered in Ogden for a while has been cleared. This was on 12th Street for Westmounters at Washington Avenue. So Washington Boulevard, excuse me, as uh, you head over to the freeway now, it doesn't look like any major problems up in Ogden or any of the other feeders through Weber and Davis counties. Uh, If you're getting into Park City this morning, uh, Kearns Boulevard now getting slow for Eastmounters from US 40 into town. 
for over 30 years, Replenished Landscape has delivered the finest compost for flower and vegetable gardens. Replenished is perfect to till into existing soil or top dressing, even for your lawn. Learn more at replenishedcompost.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll get up to 73 today. Right now it's 55 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 7:30. KSL's top story this hour. It is breaking news on KSL News Radio. The man accused of four separate intentional hit and run act, uh, attacks in Salt Lake County is also being investigated as a possible suspect in a Summit County hit and run. KSL News Radio's Jessica Lowell is live with details. Jessica? Amanda, Summit County Sheriff's Office confirmed to KSL they're looking into on FAM in connection with a hit and run near Park City on March 5th. FAM is already facing 10 felony charges for targeting women pedestrians and hitting them with his car. The first case was back in August. Police were able to link the cases in part because of the white Toyota Avalon described in all of the accidents. KPCW and Park City reports a woman was hit while walking in the Sun Peak neighborhood on March 5th. They reported at the time that the car that hit the woman was white and a smaller model. Reporting live, Jessica Lowell, KSL News Radio. One person is dead in American Fork on I-15 this morning. Highway Patrol uh, says someone was changing their tire when they were hit by another vehicle on I-15 at the Pioneer Crossing exit. Police say the driver stayed on the scene and is cooperating with police. Four lanes of northbound I-15 are currently closed, and UHP says they'll be on the scene investigating likely for the next three hours. There has been a lot of debate around drones and drone etiquette over the last few years. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is live with more information. Eric? Amanda, we've been following incidents where drones are involved here locally, like the most recent story uh, of a drone peeping through windows of Draper homes. Uh, Draper police responded to reports of a drone hovering window to window between multiple homes in a neighborhood. Uh, They were unsuccessful in finding the drone or the operator. Then in Ogden late last year, a man was shot and killed by a drone operator who flew his drone to investigate a dispute in his neighborhood. And when it crashed into a tree and the victim was holding the drone, the pilot of that drone shot the man seven times. He's now being charged with multiple felonies. Police do advise anyone who sees questionable drone activity Report it to your local departments. Reporting live, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. A group of parents in the Alpine School District are outraged at a new proposal to bus special education students to schools outside of their boundaries. Here's KSL TV's Debbie Worthen. Their parents say they are fighting for basic educational rights. After Alpine School District met with them to discuss changes to the life skills program in the district. Remy Forrest's son has already been shuffled around a lot. He's in second grade and this is his fourth school. The proposal is supposed to consolidate classes so kids aren't always shuffled to new schools. Bear Lake State Park is getting an upgrade to make space for more visitors. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston joins us live with details. Peter? Amanda, Utah and Idaho are dropping millions of dollars to expand Bear Lake State Park and add crowd-pleasing amenities. On the Idaho State of the Lake, Authorities spent two and a half million dollars to extend the public beach space by just about 30 acres. But on this side of the border, Utah will put up five million bucks for dozens of new campsites that come with water and electric RV connections. A new marina is also coming, and the price tag for that is 60 million. But is it worth it? State park managers on both sides of the border say it is, since Bear Lake already struggles with overcrowding. It also doesn't hurt that, according to a recent report from the Conservation Economics Institute, Bear Lake saw just over 1 million visits in 2021 who generated almost $54 million in economic impact. Reporting live from Salt Lake City, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour. More than 1,000 flights have been canceled across the country as millions of Americans face severe weather, including heavy rain and tornadoes. ABC's Lionel Moise has the details. The storms bringing strong winds and heavy rain to the Midwest, South, and the Northeast. Outside Philadelphia, a woman was killed when a tree crushed her car. At least 28 tornadoes were reported across nine states. One person was killed in Kentucky. And in Georgia, a twister packing winds of 150 miles per hour, causing damage outside Atlanta. Salt Lake City has had 29 delays in and out of the airport today. KSL meteorologist Matt Johnson says we'll have a quick change of weather here in Utah. We'll hit the mid-70s today, but things will get wet through the weekend. The wettest day across the Wasatch Front will likely be Saturday. We'll bring in some rain, snow, showers with highs 
almost 30 degrees cooler than what we'll see today, only in the mid-40s. Rebounding nicely into Sunday, mostly cloudy, high of 48. But hey, this storm could put down a quarter to a half inch of water in the valleys. The sun will be out through the first half of next week. First look traffic, Andy. Uh, what's the latest on that mess in Utah County? Well, they've had to take away another of the lanes. They had two blocked. Now it's three as you go past Pioneer Crossing in American Fork. They've kept the exit ramp open, though, so you can still exit the freeway after you've waited through that 20 to 30 minutes of uh, delay getting up from Orem into American Fork. And there's still a huge backup for traffic trying to leave Tooele. Uh, Stansbury Park and Lake Point backed up on SR 36 because of a crash just after the I-80 merge. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A Lehigh construction worker was life flighted to the hospital last night after falling from a roof. Police say the worker fell in the Holbrook Farms neighborhood around 6.30 yesterday. Police haven't given an update on his condition. The husband of a Florida lawmaker has died after falling at Bryce Canyon National Park. Florida State Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo and her husband John were hiking when he fell. He was taken to a trauma center in St. George where he later died. He was 72 years old. The way faith and religion is portrayed in media can have a real-world effect. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live to explain. Michael? Amanda, this comes from a study done by the Faith and Media Initiative and market research specialist Harris X. Among 10,000 participants, 63% say too much faith content gets rooted in controversy. 43% say media's approach to religion creates unease and anxiety. This info was quoted by Sherry Dew at, the B at a BYU lecture. She's Deseret Management Corporation's chief content officer. She told students they have the opportunity to become storytellers who can portray faith in a more accurate and honest way, according to Deseret News. Reporting live, Michael Kimmitt, KSL News Radio. Recently purchased historical artifacts from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints and are now on display in Salt Lake for the first time. KSL News Radio's Alessandra Gurr reports. These artifacts include significant documents for the church, including pages from the Book of Commandments and Revelations, a document that contains characters like those on the gold plates, and portraits of Joseph and Emma Smith that were painted during their lifetimes. BYU student Riley Nichols says he's grateful the church is giving the public an opportunity to see these artifacts. As the church has possession of it, it'll just like be a lot more public and like a lot more people can see it because it's been held very tightly. But I also think it'll have a different spirit around it as they like go to share it really openly. The display will be open through October. Alessandra Gurr, KSL News Radio. Just a reminder, you can catch every session of the 194th Annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, along with special programming, right here on KSL News Radio starting Saturday morning at 9 30. Those slowdowns continue northbound I 15 approaching Pioneer Crossing in Utah County. Same for SR 36 in Tooele County. We'll check it all next on KSL. A legacy of news and information going back generations. I'll have the radio on. I learned that from my mom. She's listened to KSL her whole life, and I grew up listening to KSL radio, too. I really enjoy listening in the morning. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. It's easy to think all money managers are pretty much the same. But at Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. Different? How? You sell high-commission investment products, right? No. Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission-based investment products. Well, you must earn commissions on trades. Nope, never at Fisher. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our client's best interest. It's the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. How do you know what's in their best interest? We get to know our clients and then tailor a portfolio based on their goals and needs. But you probably sneak in some hidden and layered fees. No, we have one transparent management fee structured so we do better when our clients do better. Wow, you really do look out for your clients. That's because our top priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. It might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments, clearly different money management. Investments and securities involve the risk of loss. Any Hour Services free furnace sale is going on right now. If you haven't scheduled your free estimate yet, do it now. Call Any Hour Services today or schedule online at anyhourservices.com. If you're just getting in the car, we uh, received confirmation from the Summit County Sheriff's Office that they are now looking into On Fam, the uh, man accused of four separate intentional hit and run attacks here in Salt Lake County, uh, for another hit and run that took place in Park yeah. City in early March. Wow. We'll uh, follow up on that story with any new details throughout the day. 739 now. We have emergency traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. 
Uh, Amanda, it's Utah County. I've been keeping an eye on. We still have three right lanes of the freeway block near Pioneer Crossing in American Fork. The delay from the crash stretching all the way back to just about the 1600 North Orem exit going on I-15. Other delays in Utah County uh, north of that have been a lot less, including Redwood Road, although there is some slowing now going up past 2100 North Lehigh. Heather? We are still looking at delays on SR 36 northbound from Stansbury Park all the way to the merge of I-80, but that is starting to thin out now that UHP has left the scene of this crash on eastbound I-80 just before you get to the 201 merge. Once you're on the 201 freeway, you're going to see the typical delays heading east from Mountain View Corridor over to the west side belt, but no problems on I-15. Eric. And over on the 215 East Belt, that's looking good. Heading north uh, through uh, Parley's Canyon, I-80. Got dry roads this morning and good movement out to the Kimball Junction exit. If you're southbound from Ogden, I-15 looking good now through all of Weber and Davis counties. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance, where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brand you know and prices you'll love. Eric Butler on the KSL Traffic Center. As our weekend storm punches into the west coast, that puts us under southerly flow, bumping the temperatures to 73, mostly sunny, breezy out of the south. Overnight, only 50 degrees is what we get. A 58 tomorrow with a chance for showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Cloudy downtown this hour, 55 degrees. There was a tragic story earlier this year when a guy breached an emergency exit at the airport, then climbed into what was like an engine cover yeah. and died. But the story doesn't start there. A lot was going on that we need to understand. Dave and Dujanovic have a special this weekend, and Dave Noriega will join us to tell us more about it in a moment. I look forward to that. But right now, Jeff Kaplan's here with his Minute of News. It's brought to you by the Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox. Are we allowed to get excited about somebody else's solar eclipse? Because this one is not ours. Here in Salt Lake on Monday, only 48% of the sun will be covered. Compared to the last one, it's barely going to get darker. Remember the one in 2017? Almost all of the sun was covered. The sky visibly darkened. The shadows of the tree leaves looked like half moons. The birds went quiet. The dinosaurs reappeared. Or maybe that didn't happen. I don't remember. 2017 was a long time ago. We had a KSL eclipse party with those janky eclipse glasses from China. The highlight for me, Doug Wright interviewing my little granddaughter. Now, let's see. Alexa, how old are you right now? I am seven. You're seven? Yeah. Alexa just got a job. 2017 was a long time ago, but I remember my relatives back east didn't care one bit about our eclipse. I mean, I was all excited, and they were like, oh, that's nice. This time, the state of New York gets totality, and back east in the media capital of the world, New York can't stop telling us about it, even obsessing over the prison inmates who aren't permitted to see it. A group of inmates have sued New York's Department of Corrections for the right to view Monday's solar eclipse because the eclipse is a religious event. Here in Utah, we did let our inmates see the eclipse, but as far as the national media is concerned, our eclipse didn't even happen. So as the hours tick toward Monday and eclipse mania reaches fever pitch, don't succumb to the hype. I mean, they're selling Krispy Kreme Eclipse donuts. And at a well-known pizza joint, they're offering a special total eclipse of the hut. Look, it'll be worth a glimpse right before lunch Monday, but all the ooing and eyeing will be in Dallas, Cleveland, and for goodness sakes, Buffalo. Nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the this one's not ours. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Brought to you by the Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox. IRS harassing you. The Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. Hi, I'm Utah Tax Attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, then the economy crashed. I was out of work. Combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected, and I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something. Never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. 
Gillette Heating and Air Conditioning is offering furnace maintenance for 30% off. Call 385-GET-HEAT today to take advantage of this limited-time offer. Carrier, turn to the experts. KSL News Time 745. The three things you need to know this hour. First, one person is dead after being hit by a car while changing a tire on the side of I-15 and American Fork. I'm KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla. Second, on fam is being investigated for another hit and run in Summit County. He's accused of four separate intentional hit and run attacks in Salt Lake County. Third, it's traffic and weather together. A lot of patients needed to go on I-15 from Orem to American Fork because of an investigation of a fatal crash that happened near Pioneer Crossing. Traffic out of Tooele has been really rough this morning on SR-36 between Stansbury Park and the I-80 merge. And now we've got a bunch of delay on the 21st South Freeway near 5600 West. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Warm south winds today bumping temperatures to 73. I'm Matt Johnson. And right now it's 55 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Let's check our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Brian Clark. Ahead of the release of the March jobs report tomorrow from the Labor Department, the latest weekly layoff numbers are out. ABC's Mark Remillard says layoffs increased, but they remain historically low. The labor market continues to chug along despite the high interest rates. The Labor Department reported this morning that filings for unemployment claims for the week ending March 30th climbed by 9,000 to 221,000, up from 212,000 the week before. President Biden will speak today with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. It'll be their first conversation since Monday's strike by the Israeli military that killed seven aid workers. The president said he's outraged by what happened. There are 400,000 power outages in New Hampshire and Maine alone. That region of New England hit hard by storms that have battered the entire East Coast. Search continues in Taiwan for people stuck in the wreckage of the earthquake that killed 10. This is ABC News. All right, let's go in depth uh, in depth here for Kyler Effinger. The uh, first day of 2024 was the final day of his life. The 30-year-old died earlier this year after he breached an emergency exit at Salt Lake International, then climbed into an engine cover of a commercial aircraft that was preparing for takeoff. Dave and Debbie, along with their producer, Caitlin, took a look at what was really going on that night and what wasn't shown on video surveillance. Dave is here. This this story is so sad. Yeah, we had a chance, and this has been so incredible that the family is willing to talk about this journey because it was not just this one moment in time, a little snapshot at the airport, because we've seen the video. The video was released, security uh, footage of, of him running across the runway, and it was heartbreaking. But his dad, Judd, joined us, and he talked to us about what led up to it, and it wasn't just the late for a flight, mm -hmm. getting hung up at TSA, it was going back 10 years. I think we have a, a little piece do. of uh, that interview. Uh, you know, if 100,000 people saw him that day, not, not one single person stopped to help him. You know, at one point, there's a video of him sitting Indian style on the moving walkway, and he's just, and everyone's just going to the side and, and avoiding him. But, you know, not violent. He didn't have a violent bone in his body. Um, but just, you know, I just think he needed someone to put his arm, you know, their arm around him and say, hey, buddy, what's what's going on? Can I help you? That breaks my heart, Dave. How often do we do this? We, we see somebody, we're like, oh. I wonder if they need help. That's a little odd. Mm. Why are they acting that way? And then I walk by because I'm ill-equipped. I don't know what to do. I don't want to insert. I don't want to insume. All these things. And Kyler's dad said, what would have changed? What would have happened had someone said, hey, buddy, <laughs> I, I noticed you're sitting crisscross right here on the, the moving walkway. What's you doing all right? On? Yeah. Yeah. Are you all right, man? Can we get you some help? Or, and uh, he talks to us about this 10 years, and, and they had dealt with this, the highs and lows where they had this amazing Christmas. He said it was the best Christmas ever. Kyler even called his dad and said, Dad, this was the best Christmas. Wow. Uh, because they'd gone through the ups and downs of bipolar disorder with Kyler for, for years, for over a decade, and, and then within that week, he was dead. So he wants to talk about self-medication, the whiplash that families go through of the highs and the lows uh, and what he's hoping that we can do as a society. 
Wow, this is an important conversation. There's got to be thousands, tens of thousands of people just like Kyler out there. Oh, for sure. Uh, so we'll look forward to it. Do you know what, exactly when yeah. that airs? Yeah, uh, Saturday at noon, Kyler had bipolar disorder. Saturday at noon here on KSL News Radio. And by the way, we'll be broadcasting all five sessions of the 194th Annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's uh, time again for an update on what has been a nasty morning, particularly down in Utah County. Emergency traffic brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Back to Andy Farnsworth. Well, Tim, we've been kind of fortunate that the delays from this crash in American Fork have not extended beyond where they have. It's still, though, plenty of a wait time for everybody who's been stuck in it for 20-plus minutes. Uh, still goes from 1600 North Orem, Linden on ramp, all the way up to Pioneer Crossing in American Fork. State Street also really backed up, especially coming up on the tw- uh, 2000 West intersection and then right before it turns into Main Street in American Fork. Uh, Heather? We're very close to freeway speeds now, eastbound I-80 in Tooele County, but unfortunately the delays on SR-36 are not going away anytime soon. You're still at a crawl as you come out of Stansbury Park and head all the way up to I-80. That is all due to an earlier crash as you leave Tooele County. Uh, Once you get onto the 201 freeway, you're also going to see the typical delays from 7200 west all the way over to the west side belt and I-15 now starting to slow down as you head north through Murray. Eric. Through Weber and Davis counties, I-15 looking just fine this morning, as is the case for US-89 drivers from I-84 uh, down into Layton and Farmington. And if you're over on Legacy Parkway or the West Davis Highway, all of that is looking good southbound as well. IFA Country Stores has spring farm specials from April 1st to April 7th. Grow everything you need from gardens and grass to flocks and four-legged friends. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. And let's get a look at that seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive. Bountiful. Another beautiful day, Matt? Oh, yeah. Hey, we're going to see the wind, though, today with some high clouds. But that south wind will bump us up to 73 for a daytime high. Wow. Tomorrow, 58, breezy, and a chance for showers. We'll go 44. Coldest of the next seven is this Saturday. We'll go for rain, snow, showers. Could see a trace of snow on the valley floor. Mostly cloudy but dry. 48 on Sunday. Partly cloudy, 51 on Monday. High pressure just continues to build. We've got another warm-up 57 by Tuesday. Wednesday next week, sunshine, 63. <laughs> how, how bad are these winds going to be? Because I noticed uh, you put an X post out about it. Right, yeah. We've got gusts up to 55 in the West Desert across the Wasatch, ooh, 25 to 30. So okay. not bad. And uh, then they move to the east tomorrow, sounds like. Right. All right. Uh, right now, partner cloudy skies downtown, 55 degrees. Hi, this is Doug Wright. Over the years, I've talked a lot about hard water. It takes years off the life of water heaters and other appliances in your home. Leaves scum on the shower walls, and you almost need a jackhammer to remove that. I've talked about how Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer, their water softeners are maintenance-free. You just don't need adjustment, and they do the job with two-thirds less salt than other softeners. But today, I want to talk about the exhilarating feeling of stepping into a hot bath or shower and feeling that pure your soft water cascade over your skin. It feels like every pore in your body wants to stand up and start singing. And afterward, there are no itchy hard water deposits sticking all over you. You really should look into a soft water system from Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer. You can learn more about Connecticut by giving them a call at 801-576-8600 or log on to Softwater Utah. Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer. Then sit back and enjoy your shower even more. Join Mike Stevens of Capital Wealth Advisors for Retire Right Radio, Saturdays at 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. That's Retire Right Radio with Mike Stevens, Saturdays at 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. Transform your old, outdated kitchen with Half Price Granite. For a limited time, Half Price Granite is offering special pricing, starting at $25 per square foot installed. That's lower than most big box stores. These prices are some of the lowest around. Granite, quartz, marble, and quartzite, all starting at $25 per square foot installed. Call 801-486-1700 or visit halfpricegranite.com. Half Price Granite, affordable luxury. Dave and Eugenific. I love these new venue plans for the 2034 Olympics in Utah. How about a giant big air jump for ski and snowboard downtown? Also, how a Major League Baseball and hockey team would play into the new Olympic plans. Today 
on Dave and Dujanovic. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Job hopping, it turns out, is paying off for some workers. ADP reports the median year-over-year pay increase for people who switched jobs was 10%, and people who stayed at the same job saw an annual gain of 5%. California wants to give employees the option to ignore their bosses when they're not on the clock. We were talking about this with Dave and Debbie yesterday. The state legislature has introduced a bill that would give employees the right to disconnect during non-work hours. Similar laws are in place in 13 other countries like France, Italy, and Mexico. WhatsApp was down for hours worldwide yesterday. The 2 billion users weren't able to send any messages in the afternoon. People on other meta services also reported outages, but normally WhatsApp isn't impacted by these kinds of things. The Verge reports that the last time people were locked out of the app was two years ago. The markets are up this morning. Dow's up 134. That's three tenths percent. We're at 39,262. S&P's up 35. That's seven tenths. The Nasdaq up 139. That's nine tenths. Well, that situation northbound I-15 in Utah County is not getting much better. We'll uh, get the latest on the drive with traffic and weather together next. You know, Deb, you and I have had this conversation so many times. We think, oh, I wish I had a little more light here or maybe a ceiling fan there. That's why we love Master Electrical. So anytime we have an electrical problem, we know we can call them and they will give us their upfront pricing guarantee. Because we're not going to do it yourself. We're going to leave it to the professionals. And this upfront pricing guarantee is fantastic. I'm sure you've been bitten by bids in the past where they say, oh, that's going to take half a day. And then two weeks later... The bid and the invoice have nothing to do with each other. Not only will you get their upfront pricing guarantee, but you will never see an upcharge. Their pricing system simply won't allow it. Master Electrical proudly serves from Logan to Santa Quin. They do everything that has to do with electrical, and they're always open, including for emergency services. The phone number to call is 801-543-2222. 801-543-2222 or check them out online at masterelectrical.com. Ready to wake up in a new destination nearly every day with Norwegian Cruise Line? Book today with free second guests to Alaska, Europe, and beyond. Plus, everyone can enjoy their vacation with free unlimited open bar, free specialty dining, and more. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Offer ends soon. Norwegian Cruise Line. Ships Registry, the Bahamas and USA. Restrictions apply. The rest of my life gonna start today. Ah, the life of a small business owner. Keeping the lights on, calling all the shots, and then there's workplace accidents. 500-degree ovens, rusty nails. Danger lurks around every corner. Workplace accidents can happen, but there is an easy way to keep your employees covered. Talk to your agent about workers' comp coverage from Pi, or go to piinsurance.com and get a quote. Safety first, then Pi Insurance. Individual rates, offerings, and savings may vary. Subject to policy terms and conditions. Not available in all states and situations. Should work-life balance be the law? We feel the sense of pressure that if the boss gets a hold of us, we'd better be ready to respond ASAP. California thinks so. A new bill would give employees a legal right to ignore calls and text messages. I see no downside to this. Dave and Dijanovic. Fuel your days with conversation. I don't think we'd be talking about this if bosses hadn't long ago jumped the shark. Weekday mornings, 9 to noon on KSL News Radio. 759 still emergency traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back over to you, Andy. Amanda, same story. We still have the three right lanes of the freeway blocked at American Forks Pioneer Crossing just before the exit. Traffic from the crash backing all the way to Orem, 1600 north where the delays start. Uh, State Street, still a decent alternate, but you got a lot of intersections to wait through, so I don't know how much time it'll save you, but at least you may feel like you're making progress. Heather? In the Salt Lake Valley, you'll see delays northbound I-15 between 7200 south in Midville and 4500 south in Murray. The 201 freeway also has typical delays through West Valley City, heading over toward the West Side Belt. And delays are easing a bit in Twilla County, but still very slow on SR-36, heading up to Lake Point. Eric? And we don't have any really uh, any kind of problems uh, the southbound I-15 through Weber and Davis counties on I-15 uh, from Ogden to downtown. That's a 30-minute drive for US 89, Legacy Parkway, 215 Westbelt. All of those looking good heading south, too. Don't miss the incredible event sale at Dave's Bernina in Provo and St. George. Save thousands on new Bernina machines used for a recent three-day event that come with full warranties while supplies last. Eric Butler and the KSL Traffic Center. 
We will look for a high today. Warmest day of the year, Matt telling us a moment ago. 73, but by Saturday, that temperature for a high will be 44. And we'll be back knocking on the door of the freezing mark for overnight lows with a chance of snow in the valleys. It's 55. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 8 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. It's developing news on KSL. The man accused of four separate intentional hit and run at attacks in Salt Lake County is also being investigated as a possible suspect in a Summit County hit and run. Summit County Sheriff's Office confirmed to KSL they're looking into on fam in connection with a hit and run near Park City on March 5th. We'll update the story as more information comes in. In other news this hour, two people are in the hospital after an overnight shooting in a gym parking lot. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera spent the morning at the scene. Eric, what's going on? Amanda, I'm here at the EOS Fitness parking lot in Murray, and you would never know what occurred last night around 1044 happened. Uh, the lot is currently par uh, packed with gym goers this morning. Uh, but according to Chris Reardon with Murray PD, a shooting involved involving multiple people took place right here where I stand. The details are still limited, but what we do know is there were two victims, one male and one female, that were taken to Intermountain Medical Center in critical but stable condition. It's unknown also whether the victims hit were involved. Uh, a witness told KSL TV last night that she saw uh, the woman badly wounded on the ground and was unsure whether the shooter or shooters fled or ran inside. Uh, I've reached out to Murray PD for any updates without reply just yet, uh, but I did get an official statement from EOS Fitness recognizing the incident, and they're saying their hearts go out to the victims and hope for a speedy recovery. Reporting live from Murray, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. Some people in Salt Lake City are being asked to pull out their artificial grass, and they're not happy about it. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has the story. Troy Veal Pondo has had turf for years, and it was expensive to put in. But now the city's asking him and one of his neighbors to rip it out by April 25th. They said if I don't do it by that date, it's five to seven thousand dollars and twenty-five dollars a day. While Salt Lake City's Public Utilities Department has nothing to do with enforcement, Director Laura Briefer says artificial turf is not recommended because it contains forever chemicals and microplastics. During runoff, for instance, in a rain event, the types of man-made materials that are used could add to contamination to our waterways or to groundwater. City code says turf is not supposed to cover more than 35 percent of the area that should be covered by vegetation. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. Utah Olympics officials have picked 13 potential venues for the Winter Games events next decade. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston joins us with a live update. Peter? Amanda, I'm not the biggest curling fan, but I am at the Salt Palace where thousands of people will sit and watch Olympians scrape the ice in front of their team's curling stones in 2034. State Olympic leaders have chosen a dozen other tentative sites for Winter Games events too, including the snowboard halfpipe on Park City Mountain, speed skating at the Olympic Oval in Kearns, and alpine technical skiing at Snow Basin. A news release from the Salt Lake City Utah Olympic Committee Paralympi says Paralympians will be competing at seven of these same locations. Utah Olympics Committee CEO Fraser Bullock also says that a lot can change, though, in the decade before the games come, so these spots are tentative. The, Inter the International Olympic Committee will tour the sites next week. Reporting live from the Salt Palace in Salt Lake City, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour. The international fallout continues for Israel as news of the deadly strike against international aid workers brings a new wave of criticism on the IDF's operations in Gaza. ABC's Christiane Cordero has more. The World Central Kitchen Workers, an American, three British nationals, an Australian, a Polish national, and a Palestinian driver, were traveling in a caravan when it was attacked, their vehicles clearly branded with the Food Relief Organization's logo. Chef Jose Andres, founder of World Central Kitchen, claims the group was targeted. Prime Minister Netanyahu's foreign policy advisor insists the attack was not intentional. President Biden expected to speak with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today, uh, their first conversation since Monday's attack. Taiwan Emergency Services continue rescue operations. ABC's Joyce Wong is in Taipei. Authorities here said that as of 4.25 p.m. local time, the quake has killed 10 lives and injured more than 1,000 people. Rescue efforts are still being made to get to some 700 people who were either stranded or uncounted for. 
The earthquake this week was one of the strongest in the island nation's history. A group of Utah high schoolers were visiting Taiwan when that uh, quake struck. Parent chaperone Julie Allen tells KSL-TV the group wasn't near the epicenter, but they still felt the shaking. Then we got on our phones, we started to get amber alerts of tsunami warning. The group had only visited one of the hardest hit areas days before. First look traffic, it's still emergency traffic, Andy. Yep, and it will be till we can get the freeway completely reopened in American Fork. Three right lanes are still blocked near Pioneer Crossing in American Fork. Delays going back to Orem. And it's uh, 40 minutes of wait time on the freeway so far for some of the drivers. We still have delays in Tooele County on SR 36, but it is starting to improve. And uh, uh, hopefully sometime soon that won't be there at all. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll check back in just a few minutes for those of you uh, stuck in that mess. The American Cancer Society expects cancer cases will rise to 35 million people worldwide in the next 25 years. The American Cancer Society reports physicians diagnosed 20 million cancer cases in 2022 and nearly 10 million died around the world. They expect that number to reach 35 million by 2050. That prediction based on just an aging population. But the study's authors say the numbers will likely be even worse with continued unhealthy diets, physical inactivity, and heavy drinking and smoking in some societies. ABC's Andy Field says that report also says many who live in undeveloped nations will die from cancer because they don't have access to treatment. A dairy worker in Texas is believed to have been infected by an animal infected with bird flu. Sony Salzman with ABC's medical unit says avian flu has been known to be found in several species. Bird flu has not just been found in birds. We've known that bird flu circulates in birds. That's why it's called bird flu or avian flu. But what we're seeing now is that 11 cattle herds, so cows, have also been found with the virus. And this week, a man in Texas who was in close contact with one of those herds, he also was infected with bird flu. The infection triggered some farm closures and increased CDC attention to the outbreak. After a two-day competition in Las Vegas, Taylorsville can now say they've got the area's top dogs and handlers. Here's KSL News Radio's Don Brinkerhoff. A couple weeks ago, three canine teams from the Taylorsville Police Department attended the 32nd annual Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department's canine trials. Sergeant Jacob Palmer says over the two-day event, their team earned the highest overall average scores in all categories. 50 different teams from California, Nevada, Arizona, and Utah competed. Way to go, Taylorsville. Congratulations. I am so sorry for those of you stuck northbound I-15 coming out of Orem. I guess if you're exiting at 1600 North, that's probably a good idea because in front of you is just a solid stretch of stop-and-go traffic. We'll check it next on KSL. Join your friends who rely on KSL each morning for the fastest routes to work and school. Uh, I like traffic on the nines. So I need to get the kids up earlier so that my son isn't driving quickly in a snowstorm. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save hundreds, which could be life changing. I mean, you could put that money towards concert tickets for your daughter to see that singer who sings about painful breakups. And one song will inspire your little beauty to break up with that beast she's dating, Brian. Instead, she'll date someone who's nice and worthy of her love, not someone who addresses you and your spouse as, bro. And it's all because you could save money switching at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates, not available in all states. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. KSL News Time 809. It's uh, emergency traffic, has been for a while this morning. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And Andy, uh, I don't know, is that an improvement from the last time we looked? Uh, as far as delay distance, no, it's still backed up. In fact, it's starting to creep back towards 800 north in Orem instead of starting at 1600 north. Some people are taking Geneva Road and up into Pleasant Grove. That'll save you a little bit of time, but uh, eventually you're going to have to get back to the freeway, and that's where the extra backup is. HOV Lane is probably your best bet if you're eligible. They seem to be getting by a little bit quicker because the crash in American Fork 
works over to the right. Heather? We still are overly congested on SR 36. This is between uh, Stansbury Park Parkway all the way up to Saddleback Boulevard and Lake Point. But once you pass Saddleback Boulevard, you're mostly up to speed getting onto I-80. The 201 freeway still has a little bit of delay, but it's much better now between 5600 West and Bangor Highway. And northbound I-15, occasionally you'll see some brake lights through Midvale and Murray. Eric? Northbound on the 215 East Belt, so no real troubles from Knutson's Corner up past the mountain. So over to Foothill, driving Foothill right now is in good shape going up to the University of Utah, as is I-80 going out through Parley's Canyon this morning. I-15 through Weaver and Davis counties, that's a good sh uh, stretch all the way to downtown. Is it winter? Is it spring? Who cares? Come explore Logan. Baby Animal Days Festival is happening now through April 6th. Mountain Man Rendezvous, live performances, skiing, snowmobiling, and more. ExploreLogan.com. Eric Butler in KSL Traffic Center. It's the warm before the storm today. Mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the mid-70s, and breezy out of the south. Overnight, we'll go to 50 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, chance for showers, 58. We drop off to 44 on Saturday with a chance for rain and snow showers in the valley. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 55 degrees in Salt Lake City. Coming up in a moment, we'll speak with Debbie Dujanovic about this latest uh, suggestion from Salt Lake County that they're looking at the same guy who mm. is being uh, investigated in Salt Lake County for those hit and runs. They're looking at the same guy in Summit County. Crazy. More with Debbie just ahead on KSL. Stay with us uh, and remember, always watch for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. All right, let's see if we can save you money. And you know right where we're going with this conversation if you listen on a regular basis because our first stop and best stop is always NPS. Have you not been to NPS yet? What in the world are you waiting for? I can't believe it was kept a secret for as long as it was. Actually. And I know the regular shoppers will see me there and they'll say, it's your fault. <laughs> yeah. This is your fault. Well, I, I just want everyone to be able to save money. It, I started shopping at NPS at a time in our family's budget where I just I didn't know what to do. And then I found, I started going there to do my grocery shopping. I almost wanted to run up and hug somebody because I thought we can, there's all kinds of things I will not have to cut out of the budget now that I can bring my groceries down that low. But it's not just groceries. No. Oh, no. It, it starts with groceries for most people. But we're talking about clothing and clothing accessories, boots and slippers, bedding and linens. Here's their business model. Everything in the store is going to be marked anywhere from 20 to 70% off. But then they'll mark each of these things down another 50%. Everything I just mentioned is marked down an additional 50%. I got the most beautiful blue shoes, $7. I got a, a you know, designer handbag, $60. It would have been hundreds of dollars. So, yeah, you can find all kinds of things there. Even electronics, which, by the way, right now are not, uh, marked down another 25%. And they make shopping so fun there with occasional bins and yeah. boxes that everything is 2 bucks. They just want to get rid of it. Find them in four locations along the Wasatch Front, Leighton Norm, and two stores in Salt Lake City. When the weather warms up, it's like a stampede, except instead of dust stirred up by hundreds of hooves, it's a cascade of phone calls to advanced window products. This is Jeff Kaplan. Soon as the sun shines and the snow's gone, people want new windows and frames from Utah's number one custom window maker, and the wait for installation grows longer. But right now, you can get near the front of the line by calling for a quote and get $2,500 off when you purchase 10 windows or more. That's on top of the incredible savings for the highest quality double-pane windows and frames any style any color see at advanced window products they actually build the windows here in utah they install the windows and they guarantee them for life there's no middleman and they can pass the savings on to you they even offer buy now pay later so get in before the wait grows longer and get the 2500 off get your new windows this spring make the call advanced window products 801-850-9100 that's 801-850-9100 or visit advancedwindowsusa.com. It's going to be here before you know it. Here comes the summer like a wave of change. Soda Weight Loss wants to help you look amazing in your swimsuit and shorts. But you got to get started right now at SodaWeightLoss.com. No time? Try Soda's at-home program with all the support you need online. I didn't realize how unhealthy I was. When you start losing the weight, even that first five pounds, this enormous amount of confidence starts to build in you. You start to realize like, oh, this is possible for me. That's Lauren, and she let go of 35 pounds with Soda. With their help, I let go of 70 pounds 
in five months. That's because Soda Works. Soda works. It's why they have more than 8,700 Google reviews and countless before and after pictures and videos of people loving their results. Get started now at SodaWeightLoss.com. That's S-O-T-A WeightLoss.com. Sodas, say it with me. Say of the art. KSL News Time, 815. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the man accused of four separate intentional hit and run attacks in Salt Lake County is also being investigated as a possible suspect in a Summit County hit and run. I'm KSL News Radio's Jessica Lowell. Second, a tragedy this morning. One person is dead after getting hit on the side of I-15 while trying to change their tire. Still causing a mess, too. Let's check traffic with traffic and weather together. Yeah, with three right lanes of the freeway blocked for the investigation of this fatal crash, traffic is backed all the way into Orem, and it's been that way for most of the morning. You're up to about a 40-minute wait through all the backups, at least to how it's been going so far. Once you get past it, you're in much better shape. Uh, I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Winds kick up out of the south from an approaching storm. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 55 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a check of our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Brian Clark. President Biden said he was outraged by the Israeli strike that killed seven aid workers in Gaza. ABC's Karen Travers in Washington says today the president will talk with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Aid groups operating in Gaza alert the Israeli military of their planned movements and routes to prevent them from being mistaken as targets. A U.S. official tells ABC that process has been an issue there and the Biden administration has been raising specific concerns with the Israelis, including after that deadly airstrike earlier this week. And that strike killed people working for the World Central Kitchen. The charity's founder, Jose Andres, said his group was targeted, speaking to Reuters. At the time, this looks like it's not a war against terrorism anymore. Seems this is a war against humanity itself. The war between Russia and Ukraine, a focus of the NATO foreign minister's summit in Brussels. The group also marked 75 years of NATO. But Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the alliance's core principles of democracy, liberty and the rule of law are being challenged. Challenged by those who believe that might makes right and those who would seek to redraw the borders by force. Severe weather that swept across the U.S. is now being blamed for five deaths, including two in Pennsylvania. The storm today having a major impact on the Northeast and New England. ABC's Derek Dennis says it also included at least 28 reported tornadoes, mainly in the South and Midwest. In the Northeast, outside Philadelphia, a woman was killed when a tree crushed her car in high winds and torrential rain that extended into the New York tri-state area. Hundreds of thousands are without power up and down the East Coast. And in Portland, Maine, nearly a foot of snow has fallen with high winds reduced visibility folks being told to stay off the roads number of americans applying for jobless benefits went up by 9,000 last week but layoffs remain at historically low levels the march jobs report will be released tomorrow by the labor department you're listening to abc news david dujanovic of course coming up top of the hour on fans name is out there again it's all over the place yeah now uh the public information officer with the summit county sheriff's office uh emailing us this morning and saying that he is uh, being suspected in yet another hit-and-run crash involving a woman. This one happened in the evening on March 5th. Uh, She was walking. Uh, She was sent to the hospital in stable condition. Uh, But this, okay, so by my count, uh, we could be up as high as 10 women if they're able to connect all of the dots to all of the cases that we are aware of outside of the cases that uh, he has already been criminally charged with. So as many as 10 women, there may be more. Well, and to be clear, this isn't the one we just reported on from a ring camera, right? This is this a This is one. additional to that. So that we obtained ring camera uh, doorbell video of another woman being mowed down by a white car. And all of the people who were hit by these by this car have said it's a white older model car so again let's go back to that ring doorbell camera you referenced tim the footage was a white car we obtained the video last week here at ksl news radio where the woman is walking along minding her own business um, and here comes a car right at her she tries to scamper out of the way as fast as she could but it just mows her down and leaves her in the road where she lies there for about 45 seconds before neighbors in the in the neighborhood start running toward her um that is another 
Yet another case of this, and what baffles me and has baffled me from the beginning, is how in the world he must be thumbing his noses at police. Mm -hmm. Because we have now this case in Summit County, we have the case in Sandy, and we had multiple the bulk of the cases happened in Salt Lake City. Is he being held right now, Debbie? He is in he's in custody. Yeah, and he's been making court appearances on the charges man, that he's. So I wouldn't feel safe with him out in the community. He was arrested at this March point. 13th. So on uh, March 13th, he was taken into custody. Uh, there should be no more of these of these crashes after March 13th. But we don't know how many more there are, mm-hmm, you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, so we're going to go in depth on. I, I I really have to get to the bottom of where in the world were police on this and why were not police departments working together? Because the news release that went on on this crash up in Summit County said they didn't. You know, back on March 5th or 6th, they didn't have any suspects and leads. But by then he. He'd roll. He'd, well, and if he hit a number of women, if mm-hmm. he's found guilty, why? What's the motive yeah. behind any of this? It's a great question, Tim, and we that's going to have to. Know. It's going to have to play out in court. Yeah. if we can figure out what was going on in his mm. head. Oh boy! All right, uh, we'll wait for the latest coming up with Dave and Dujanovic, and a reminder that this portion of Utah's morning news is brought to you by Revere Health. We still have an emergency traffic situation, traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to twenty cents per gallon. And back to you, Andy. Amanda, the delays have uh, not changed. Uh, in fact, you're in the 30 to 40 minute wait times to get from Orem up into American Fork with this uh, backup, unless you're eligible for the HOV lane, which actually seems to be moving a little bit better uh, than the main flow lanes. The three right lanes of the freeway are blocked uh, as they investigate that fatal crash right before the Pioneer cro- uh, Crossing American Fork exit. Heather? Not too many problems in the Salt Lake Valley. I-15 is now at freeway speeds from Point of the Mountain into Salt Lake. That's going to be about 20 minutes right now. You also have much better speed on the 201 freeway. The earlier congestion areas we had heading east toward the west side belt have gone, as well as on Mountain View Corridor and Bangor Highway. SR-36 out in Tooele County still has a bit of congestion for a couple of blocks as you approach Lake Point getting onto I-80. Eric. Not seeing any major delay spots coming out of Ogden this morning, going down through Layton, Bountiful, all the way to downtown Salt Lake City. A Legacy Parkway turning into the 215 West Belt for southbounders through that whole area down past the airport. That's also looking good. I-80 through Partley's Canyon not having any delay problems this morning. You got dry roads through the mountains. Don't miss the Bedrock Courts bonus cash event. Get 8% same as cash allowance or 12 months zero percent financing on any purchase over three thousand dollars including countertop sinks and more visit bedrockcourts.com eric butler in the ksl traffic center ksl 7a forecast starts out with 70s 73 today with a warm dry south breeze mostly sunny skies 58 tomorrow will be breezy chance for showers into saturday how about rain snow showers even down to the valley floor with a high of only 44 degrees 48, mostly cloudy on Sunday, bumps up to 51, partly cloudy skies on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday next week, we're upper 50s, low 60s with high pressure building. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Salt Lake City, 55 degrees. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. So if you're coming downtown for conference this weekend, you need a coat and an umbrella. (laughs) Yeah, well... That should be part of your uh, regular routine yeah. if, you, if you attend well, we, conference. Well, I think, you know, like today I have sandals on because it's going to be yeah. 73 degrees. Not this weekend. No, we can't let that, that spring thing fool us <laughs> into not being dressed appropriately if you're going to be walking around downtown. By the way, you can hear all uh, five sessions of General Conference here on KSL News Radio. I wonder what the percentage is of uh, the number of times it rains on conference Oh, weekend. that'd be fun to look it's at. It's got to be pretty high. We'll uh, take a look at money news here in the first full hour of trading. Everything looking pretty good, actually. We'll check it next. You know that feeling? Your air conditioner starts making a weird noise, but you don't know if that's a typical weird noise or potentially expensive weird noise. And you just want somebody smart to come and look at it and maybe get things back to when you had perfectly good air conditioning without a stupid weird noise. Whipple that away. Making weird sounding air conditioners quiet again is my job. Make your problem my problem. Whipple Service Champions. Look for our special offers at whipplethataway.com. Weekend Warriors. Barbecue Brawlers. Driveway Toy Haulers. Let Geneva Rock's Ready Mix Concrete be your outdoor extension solution. Geneva Rock assists DIYers and provides contractor referrals. Visit GenevaRock.com slash DIY. A partner is someone you can rely on. Someone who has your best interest in mind. A partner is there for you during the good and the bad. They listen, understand, and care. 
Revere Health is dedicated to providing care for your generation and the next. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner for life. Put your phone on d and that means that do not disturb when you're driving and when you're going from point A to B. I need you to stay safe, please, so always sing with me. So put your phone on d and that means that do not disturb when you're driving and when you're going from point A to B. I need you to stay safe, please, so always remember this beat. Don't drive distracted. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. The Angie's List you know and trust is now Angie, and we're so much more than just a list. We still connect you with top local pros and show you ratings and reviews, but now we also let you compare upfront prices on hundreds of projects and book a service instantly. We can even handle the rest of your project from start to finish. So remember, Angie's List is now Angie, and we're here to get your job done right. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I, or download the app today. I love these new venue plans for the 2034 Olympics in Utah. How about a giant big air jump for ski and snowboard downtown? Also, how a Major League Baseball and hockey team would play into the new Olympic plans. Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Isn't that going to be fun? Oh, can't yeah. wait. And they'd still do medals, it sounds like, downtown at yeah. the same spot, which is right across the street from it's us. It's going to be awesome. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Women's NCAA basketball ticket prices now average more than twice the cost of men's. <laughs> Logitix, a company that analyzes prices, says women's tickets have averaged more than $2,300 the last couple of days. The men's Final Four, it's about 1000 you can thank Caitlin Clark for that spike. Ticket yeah. prices have been surging since Iowa beat Louisiana State on Monday. You watch the ratings of these oh, next two games for the Final Four are going to be huge. Uh, Chase Bank says it's launching a new way for brands to market directly to people based on their spending history. The bank says a new division will bring its 80 million customers uh, targeted deals and discounts. The deals will be personalized to customers who will have the option to activate the promotions on the Chase app or on the bank's website. The markets are up in the first hour of trading. Dow's up 153. That's four tenths. We're at 39,280. S&P's up 33. That's six tenths. The Nasdaq up 124. That's three quarters percent. You can probably guess where our traffic will be headed. Yeah. Back down to Utah County. Big delays northbound I-15. We had a fatality. Someone was changing a tire. Isn't that sad? And got hit by another vehicle. We'll uh, get the latest on that stack up next. Held over due to popular demand. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Save thousands on hot tubs and swim spas. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in-stock spas. Utah State Fair Park. Hot tubs discounted 40 to 80% to the lowest possible price. Starting at $29.99. Free professional delivery. Take possession tomorrow, next week, next month, or next season. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Utah State Fair Park. Shop over a dozen models of swim spas from 11 feet to over 19 feet. Swim spas offer low impact exercise, active family fun, unsurpassed relaxation, and installation in one day. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Everything must go. Free parking, free admission. You can't afford to miss this. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in stock spas. Friday, noon to 8 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The hot Hot Tub and Swim Spa Sale, Utah State Fair Park. Visit HotTubAndSwimSpaSale.com. If you need a break from it all, this weekend is General Conference. When you've dealt with a lot and you need to recharge, this weekend is General Conference. If things are difficult or life is going really well. For all these times, a reminder, it's time for General Conference Weekend at 102.7 FM and streaming live on the app for KSL News Radio. Emergency traffic and weather together now at 829, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy? Well, Tim, the delays are starting prior to 800 North, or prior to 1600 North in Orem as you go up towards Pleasant Grove and American Fork. The uh, fatal crash still blocking the three right lanes of the freeway. Four are getting by, uh, three are getting by plus the HOV lane, and the HOV lane is the quickest route at this point through the delays if you're eligible for it. A lot of backup on the uh, City Street alternates, including going up Geneva Road to State Street and then on State Street all the way back to the freeway. 
Heather? The only congestion I'm seeing in the Salt Lake Valley is at some of the larger intersections when lights turn red, like 700 East near downtown Salt Lake. Also on Mountain View Corridor, right through the Daybreak area, you're going to see delay, and a lot of that is heading southbound right now. But the delays coming out of Tooele County on SR 36 are gone as you get onto I-80 and head over to the airport. Eric? Heading through the mountains, I-80 is looking good uh, going out to Park City. If you're trying to get into Park City from US-40, expect some usual delays westbound on Kearns Boulevard. And northbound on US-40 coming out of Heber City, got some uh, slowdowns right at the River Road intersection. Uh, Davis and Weber, Weber County drivers looking good on I-15 southbound from Ogden all the way to Salt Lake City. The best kept secret is this is the pass. It's a pass for fun for everyone. Now through April 30th, save $20 off every annual pass level, 362 days of fun. Visit thisisthepass.com. Eric Butler and KSL Traffic Center. Today is going to be beautiful. A few more clouds than yesterday, but even warmer, 73 for a high. Right now it's 55 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 8.30. KSL's top story this hour. Drones have been causing tensions in Utah neighborhoods for the last few years. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is live with the latest. Eric? Amanda, I've been tracking the more recent incidents where drones are involved locally, like uh, in Ogden. Late last year, a man was shot and killed by a drone operator who flew his drone to investigate a dispute in his neighborhood. And then when it crashed into a tree, the victim was holding the drone and the pilot drone shot the the pon- the pilot of that drone shot the man seven times he's now being charged with multiple felonies and then this week reports of a drone peeping through windows of homes in a draper neighborhood draper police say a drone was hovering window to window between multiple homes in that neighborhood but were unsuccessful in finding the drone or the operator leaving residents worried police say it was a similar uh, instance when a drone was spotted going window to window outside a draper hotel as well Police advise anyone who sees questionable drone activity, report it to your local police department. Reporting live, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. A new proposal in the Alpine School District would consolidate special education courses for students, but it would also require some students to switch schools and attend ones outside of their boundaries. KSL TV's Debbie Worthen reports that many parents, like Miranda Parsons, are not happy. The changes are meant to build community for kids and to stop all the shuffling around. In theory, that sounds great, but you're taking them away from everything that they already know. Away from friends, siblings, and neighborhood kids who go to school together. Other parents say their kids have already hit major milestones at the school they already attend. If you fought for beach space at Bear Lake or missed out on a good space for your RV, you could soon be in luck. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston explains. Utah and Idaho are pouring millions of dollars into expansions of Bear Lake recreation space. The Idaho side is getting 30 extra acres of beach, and the Utah side is getting dozens of new RV campsites complete with electrical and water hookups. KSL TV also reports it will soon be easier to put some Bear Lake miles on your boat, too, since Utah will put up $60 million for a new marina. As to the reason behind these expansions, park employees tell KSL TV this will make room for the growing number of people coming every year. One report shows that in 2021 alone, there were over a million visits to the park that generated 54 million bucks in economic impact. Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. Manager for Bear Lake Park on the Idaho side, Andrew Stokes, tells KSL TV that he's excited to have more visitors. One of the toughest parts about this job is is turning those families away that want to come play at the beach. Stokes said their goal is to disperse the increased recreation across the entire park. KSL's top national stories now. Hundreds of thousands are waking up without power as the storm moves through the northeast, and hundreds of flights have been canceled. ABC News' Gio Benitez has more. A powerful nor'easter slamming the east coast, creating a dangerous morning commute for millions. More than 100,000 customers without power across the Northeast. Winds up to 64 miles per hour, knocking down trees and power lines in places like Connecticut. 32 flights have been delayed into and out of the Salt Lake Airport. FAA investigators opened another close call investigation. Here's the story now from ABC's Lionel Moise. The incident taking place at New York's LaGuardia Airport late last month. The FAA says severe weather, including high wind shear, forced a plane to veer off course while landing. On its second attempt, the flight path shows the plane coming extremely close to the control tower. The FAA now investigating whether the plane actually flew over the tower. 
A New York Times investigation from last year found that close calls were happening multiple times per week. First look traffic now, and it's still emergency traffic, Andy. Amanda, travel on I-15, still in the 30 to 40 minute range to get from Orem up into American Fork. Unless you're eligible for the HOV lane, it'll be a little bit less than that uh, as they continue to investigate that fatal crash. Still have a lot of backups on uh, Geneva Road, State Street, as you use that as an alternate. But other freeways and city streets looking much better now. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. On Fam is being investigated for yet another hit and run, this time in Summit County. He's accused of four separate incidents uh, here in Salt Lake County. KSL News Radio's Jessica Lowell reports. Summit County says they're looking into on fam for a hit and run near Park City on March 5th. A woman was hit from behind while walking in the Sun Peak neighborhood. She was taken to the hospital after for her injuries. KPCW in Park City reports that the car that hit the woman was white and a smaller model. Fam is already facing 10 felony charges for targeting women pedestrians and hitting them with his car. Police were able to link the cases in part because of the white Toyota Avalon described in all of the cases. The way faith and religion is portrayed in media can have a real-world effect. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit explains. We're looking at a study done by the Faith and Media Initiative and market research specialist Harris X. Among 10,000 participants, they found that 63% say religious content often gets rooted in controversy. This info was then quoted by Sherry Dew at a BYU lecture. She's Deseret Management Corporation's chief content officer. And according to the Deseret News, she told students they have the opportunity to lead the charge to become better storytellers who can portray faith and religion in more accurate and honest ways. Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. Several historical artifacts have been purchased by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and are now on display here in Salt Lake. KSL News Radio's Alessandra Gurr reports. Some of the artifacts included at the Church Museum are a manuscript history of the church written by John Whitmer, the original door of Liberty Jail, and letters from Joseph Smith to his wife Emma. Most of the Utahns I spoke to are excited to see these treasured artifacts and are grateful they will be on display for so long. Yeah, that display is going to be open to visitors all the way through October. You can catch every session, by the way, of the 194th General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. And we'll have special programming right here on KSL News Radio starting Saturday morning at 9 30. I keep thinking it's going to get better northbound I 15 coming out of Utah County, but it's still a mess. We'll check it next on KSL. Spend time with KSL News Radio and get a deeper understanding of the world around us. I do listen to KSL so much because you've got voices like Boyd Matheson. I listen to him every day. You can trust him. Inside Sources, weekdays 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. I like daffodils, tulips, the big dinner plate dahlias. I loved being in the garden, but I wasn't going to be able to because I couldn't not only walk, but I couldn't really stand on my foot without being in pain. It was excruciating. So my husband said, let's go to the Good Feet store. For over 20 years, we've helped people like Terry live the life they love without letting their feet get in the way. This nice young man said, I think I can help you. He got the arch support and I was fitted. And I kept walking back and forth across the store and I looked at my husband and burst into tears because it was the first time in a year that I have not had any pain in my foot. I have had no pain since the day I bought him. Now I can do whatever I want. There isn't any place on my property that doesn't have flowers blooming 365 days a year. I still can't believe it. My name is Terry and that's my Good Feet story. See what we can do for you with the free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Stop by the Good Feet Store in Farmington, Riverton, or Sandy for a free fitting. Call 1 800 New Feet or visit goodfeet.com. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We all have those places where the Wi Fi just won't go. I mean, for you, maybe it's the attic. For me, it's my basement. Well, if you had wall to wall Wi Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. Finally, with wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, a reliable connection in every room, and power for all your devices. Even when everybody's online, that's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi, only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home now through June 21st. New customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Here's what you do. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, that's 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today.
839 traffic and weather together it's emergency traffic brought to you by sinclair's dino pay app save up to 20 cents per gallon andy amanda no relief yet still the same three right lanes blocked at pioneer crossing american fork on northbound 15 and all lanes uh, that are uh, of the freeway are backed up all the way to 800 uh, well, 1600 north in orem and that linden on ramp there's a lot of backups on alternate routes though it might be moving a little more consistently for you, but you just have to wait through a lot of lights to take State Street as an alternate and get back to the freeway. Heather? No major delays in the Salt Lake Valley. You'll just see a little bit of congestion at some of the larger intersections when lights turn red. And from time to time, I'm seeing some brake lights as people try to merge onto northbound I-15 in the Midvale and Murray areas. Things are back to normal in Tooele County on SR 36 I-80 and coming out from the 201 freeway. Eric. Foothill Drive getting a little bit more congestion going by 1700 South. As you head up towards the University of Utah, some of the stoplights are uh, causing you to wait a little bit longer than uh, even half an hour ago. I-15 southbound through Weaver and Davis counties looking good. Uh, no problems from uh, Ogden all the way to downtown and Legacy Parkway and the 215 Bell Route also in good shape southbound too. No matter what kind of car you drive, two things are always true. All tires eventually need replacing and all vehicles need servicing for quality Quality service you can trust. Visit your Utah Big O Tires, the team you trust. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Courtesy of winds out of the south today, we'll bump the temperatures even more to 73, mostly sunny skies. Overnight, a little bit breezy, keeping temperatures mild, right around 50 degrees for an overnight low. 58 tomorrow with a chance for showers, then rain snow showers with a high of only 44 on Saturday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Got some clouds out there this morning blocking our sunshine, 55 degrees. KSL TV's Carol Makita will join us live in a moment to talk about all of the construction and renovations going on at Temples for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. She'll be with us in a moment. Look forward to the conversation. Uh, just a reminder, watch for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. This Monday Tax Tip is brought to you by Susan Spears, CEO of the Utah Association of CPAs. In 2021, Congress passed the Corporate Transparency Act. This law creates a new beneficial ownership information reporting requirement as part of the U.S. government's efforts to make it harder for bad actors to hide behind anonymous entities as part of illicit financial activities. In the U.S., it is estimated that 32 million companies will be required to make this filing to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN. To find out if your organization is exempt, contact your CPA. Get the most out of your income tax preparation when you hire a CPA. Go to uacpa.org to find a CPA that's right for you. That's uacpa.org. UACPA.org. Listen to KSL on Monday for more tax tips from the Utah Association of CPAs. Alpine Home Medical, we bring wellness home. The sun is out and the temps are up. It's time to seize the day and hit the road. You were born to ride. And now's the time to make your dreams a reality. Imagine the wind in your hair as you cruise on your very own power scooter. Hi, I'm Jay Broadbent with Alpine Home Medical. And these scooters aren't just for getting around. They're your ticket to freedom. With speeds up to six miles per hour, you'll own the road like never before. From graduation to concerts and vacations, our power scooters will get you there in style and ease. Don't wait another minute. The time to ride is now. Let's start your adventure today. Visit us online at alpinehomemedical.com. That's alpinehomemedical.com. Mom and Dad used to argue about everything, especially about Dad's drinking. My family went from totally crazy to quiet, calm, and even peaceful when Mom started going to Al-Anon family groups. I wanted a better relationship with Dad, so I asked Mom if she would take me to her Al-Anon meetings or to Alateen. I'm sure glad I did. If someone's drinking troubling you, you might be surprised at what you can learn in an Al-Anon or Alateen family group. 
from people just like you. Call 1 888 4 Al Anon or go to alanon.org. Inside Sources with Boyd Matheson. When we're trying to digest the news of the day, we have to remember that instant certainty is the enemy of truth. A flashy headline may distract you from the real issue and the important conversations underneath. Inside Sources with Boyd Matheson, 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. KSL News Time, 845. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the man accused of four separate intentional hit and run attacks in Salt Lake County is also being investigated as a possible suspect in a Summit County hit and run. I'm KSL News Radio's Jessica Lowell. Second, a young child was taken to the hospital after being burned last night in Taylorsville. The child was hurt at home around 6 o'clock but was life flighted out of Benyon Park. Third, traffic and weather together, Andy. Well, the delays have stayed pretty consistent, only between 1600 North Orem and Pioneer Crossing in American Fork, but it is a long stretch and a long wait for drivers and a lot of uh, waiting time on the uh, alternate routes have continued to be an issue as well. Again, that's just between Orem and American Fork. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Warm south winds today bumping temperatures to 73. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now 55 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Time now for a look at our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Brian Clark. President Biden will speak today to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. It'll be their first conversation since Israel's military strike that killed seven aid workers in Gaza. ABC's Mary Bruce has more from the White House. President Biden will be speaking with Prime Minister Netanyahu in what is expected and likely to be a very tense call. Look, President Biden we know is outraged and he says heartbroken by these killings. In his strongest rebuke yet this week, he accused Israel of simply not doing enough to protect civilians. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is in China at the start of bilateral economic talks. Severe storms are now blamed for at least five deaths in the U.S. The weather now dumping snow in New England where hundreds of thousands don't have power. And the American Cancer Society estimates by 2050, 15 million more people will be diagnosed with cancer, blaming aging and population growth. But they say many of these cases could be prevented with healthier lifestyles. This is ABC News. All right, let's go in depth here. Matt, it wasn't that long ago, really, that uh, we would say there are 28 operating temples for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the world, yeah. and now there will soon be that many in Utah. KSL TV reporter Carol Makita is covering all the construction and renovations this weekend, and she joins us now live. Carol, I'm looking forward to this. Amanda and Tim, you're so kind. Thank you. It has been um, a labor of love and a true discovery we have uh, met some wonderful people throughout the state who have ties, deep ties to these temples and where they are. And um, it is truly an amazing time in the history of the church with temple building around the world, but particularly here in Utah. And it, it signifies the faith of the saints that there's a need for so many, particularly the young people. I mean, I, I laughed when I heard someone say, um, they're lining up at 4.50 a.m., yeah. <laughs> these high schoolers, before they, they go off to their day to uh, spend some time in the temple. So, you know, it's generational, um, and it's uh, such a, uh, a feel-good story. Um, so thank you for letting me tell that story, and, and I'm happy to talk about what my colleagues have been working on as well. That uh, Temples Now Dot the Land airs Sunday at 1 p.m. on KSL and then KSLTV.com and our KSL Plus app. Well, I do have to ask you because I think uh, too often we sort of take it for granted that a temple is being built in Utah. As I just mentioned, there will soon be 28. But for, for many of these communities, many of these countries, it means so much more. It really does. Um, it's It signifies that uh, a recognition of faith and that you have been to this point um, driving uh, for hours or spending hours to uh, provide service in the temple. And uh, this is a, a nod to to the people in those communities that have such very deep um, faith. Uh, the Deseret Peak Temple, for example, in Tooele, you know, uh, those people are driving to Salt Lake, to Bountiful to, and beyond to uh, attend the temple. It's not like in some of the other countries that, you know, there are a couple of hours of travel. But still, it's uh, it's a chunk of time um, that speaks of dedication. So it these are gifts for sure. Can you update us on how the renovation at the Salt Lake Temple is going? Um, <laughs> yes, that was that was a wonderful 
beautiful moment the other day with blue skies and a and a gold angel flying through yes. um, as the uh, Angel Moroni statue was uh, placed on the temple. You know, it, um, it it's not it's just the temple; it's the temple square, and I think you can see the progress there. You can literally walk in places where it wasn't possible a year ago, so or even six months ago. So the temple square is taking shape. Um, it's still going to be 2026 because, um, let's face it, there was uh, stabilizing of that temple, which I can't even begin to explain the engineering there. Um, but also the interior uh, is being redone. And and one of the things I learned doing this, there will be double baptistries for all of these wonderful young people who are uh, serving in the temple in Syracuse and coming up in the Provo a new Rock Canyon temple, and also in the Salt Lake Temple. So that speaks of construction of a different kind. Mm. Um, I want you to know something. You said, you know, what a gift these temples are, but to us, you're a gift. Uh, That's true. You, your, your knowledge and your sensitivity no. of uh, these stories are always something I look forward to. Me too, Carol. And we've done it for you're years. Kind. Oh, you're very kind. I, I appreciate that. But as you well know, when you talk to people, they're a gift to you. They strengthen you. They um, bring you to tears with their um, faith and their stories, the stories of ancestors. Imagine crossing the ocean, crossing the plains, and then being sent to settle Smithfield. And there was nothing there. They had to build a fort to protect themselves <laughs> from the winter. Mm. And now the family who was sent there, there's a temple on their land. Oh, wow. That's it's extraordinary. just such a wow. Uh, it, yeah, it's just, a, these are remarkable people. Sunday at 1 p.m., Temples Now yes. Dot the Land with Carol Makita. Thank you so much, Carol. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. It is uh, 849. Time for us to get the update on that nasty mess down in uh, Utah County. Emergency traffic brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. I really, we really feel bad about those folks that are stuck down there, Andy. Yeah, it's been a really long drive for traffic on I-15 between Orem and American Fork because of the crash. Still have the same thing that we've had most of the morning. Three right lanes blocked, three open plus the HOV lane. And uh, at this point, with all the backups on the alternate routes, you might just be better staying on the freeway and waiting out the delay, uh, depending on where you have to go. But once you're past the crash, you've got the full speed limit up to the rest of the way into the Salt Lake Valley. Heather? Once you're in the Salt Lake Valley, you'll see a little bit of brake lights right around Midvale, 7200 South. Looks like this is due to a disabled semi that's now been moved over to the right shoulder. So speeds are getting back up to the normal pace all the way into downtown Salt Lake. Not too many problems on Bangor Highway or the 201 freeway right now. Eric. Northbound out of Heber City. Uh, we don't have any problems on US 40 this morning. The roads are good and same can be said for I-80 traffic uh, going through Parley's Canyon. And that's always good when you're going through the mountains. I-15 southbound from Ogden to downtown. That's 30 minute drive. No accidents or delays. When you choose Performance Automotive and Bountiful, you're choosing selection. Four locations. Performance Ford Lincoln, Performance Honda, Performance Toyota and Truck Country. See it all at PerformanceBountiful.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast, even warmer than yesterday. Going for 73 with a dry south breeze today, mostly clear skies. 58 tomorrow with a chance for showers, a little bit cooler. We'll also notice some breezy winds. 44, that's all you get on Saturday. Rain, snow, showers, even for the valley. Mostly cloudy skies on Sunday, 48. 51, partly cloudy on Monday, Tuesday, we're back up to 57 sunny skies, high pressure in the area on Wednesday, 63 with ample sunshine. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 55 degrees in the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. One more look at those markets when we come back. Now, during Staples Print Pig Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Pig Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4-6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. 
If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. Any Hour Services can help unclog any drain in your house. Whether you have a backup, a clog, or a slow drain, you want fixed. Call Any Hour Services or visit anyhourservices.com. Dave and Eugenific. I love these new venue plans for the 2034 Olympics in Utah. How about a giant big air jump for ski and snowboard downtown? Also, how a Major League Baseball and hockey team would play into the new Olympic plans. Today on Dave and Eugenific. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. More people are going to concerts. Live Nation, the company that owns Ticketmaster, says 145 million people attended concerts, a 20% bump from the previous year. I think Miss Amanda's attending a concert next week. Uh, right? Peter Frampton. <laughs> and that's a birthday gift to you. Yes. Uh, I'll bet you can guess who ranked in the most revenue, however. Oh, yes, yeah, Taylor Swift. Of course. Uh, followed by Beyonce. You think inflation is bad here? Turkey's annual inflation was 69% last month. Like the U.S., Turkey's government has been raising interest rates. Their key rate, so I'm, you know, don't squabble about 7%, because their key rate went from 45 to 50% late last year. How do last people, month, I'm sorry. How do month. people survive? I have no idea how that hap- How does that work. Mm. Turns out fewer people are writing wills. Only 32% of adults report having a will. The study suggests that many people are worrying less about mortality since the end of the pandemic. But as we pointed out earlier, if you've ever had someone who passed on in your family that hadn't taken care of all of these things, uh, you'd be inspired to do it so that those behind you didn't have to deal with the same. That is so so true. All right, let's get a look at your money at this moment. The Dow is up 175. That's a little shy of a half percent. We're at 39,304. S&P's up 33. That's 6 percent. I'm sorry, 6 tenths of a percent. And the NASDAQ is up 128. That's 8 tenths of a percent. The investigation of that uh, fatal incident down there in Utah County on northbound I-15 still underway. We'll get the latest on what's left of the drive coming up. Can we talk about something difficult to discuss?